Hi, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us today. I'm your host, Penelope. He's your host, Chris, and you're our host. I called you Chris. You're our host, <laughs> The Chat, and welcome to Fantasy Sauce, the only show on the internet that will never, ever enable motion blur because we care about your feeling comfort. And also because this is not a movie. Um, <laughs> yeah, hi. Oh, hi, everyone. Uh, if... So I hope, I hope you're uh, excited today because we're bringing you a Fantasy Sauce classic. Um, last time we played this game was over a year ago. Um, we're back in Satisfactory. The game just re- exited early access. Uh, it's now in. It's now a full release. It's a full game, supposedly. Um, still got a few bugs that's working out, but uh, we've got a story that we're going to be experiencing for the first time. Uh, a bunch of new voice lines. Um, a little bit of Eldritch Horror. It's going to be exciting. Yeah, just a mi- mild amount of Eldritch Horror. That's just due to the powers of capitalism. Yeah, so and the- alien Speaking artifacts. of capitalism, before we get started today, I want to thank everybody so much who's been super supportive of the stream. And if you'd like to support the stream, you can subscribe here, donate bits, or use your Twitch Prime sub. Any way you support us, we're incredibly thankful for, and we appreciate it so much. Honestly, it's been magnificent seeing so much support lately. You guys have been fantastic. Don't forget that it is September, so if you have any subs you wanted to throw our way or towards any of your other favorite streamers, um, you'll get a discount on that right now. Um, I think there's other discounts that are that are applying right this moment as well. Like I think if you like toss bits at us, we might get bonus bits just from Twitch. I don't know about that one, but you might have to look it up. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, as yeah. well. If you want to check out our previous streams, we just wrapped up our Zelda Twilight Princess playthrough with a bang. Uh, so you can check the check out the VOD of that on YouTube. Uh, we are Fantasy Sauce there as well. Yep. And then finally, if you like us and you want to check out more of our stuff and be able to hang with us more often, you can come and join our Discord community. We have the link in the description below, no matter where you're watching us. And we would love to see you around and hang out with you. Yeah, and if you like like us, uh, we have a Patreon. No, we don't. Uh, no, we don't. We we are not opening a Patreon. <laughs> not yet, anyways. If, if there's interest in it, we we, we might do it. Uh, but and we wouldn't do much on it. Maybe maybe just upload you know videos that we can't can upload to YouTube or something. I don't know. There's nothing that we have that we can't upload to YouTube yet, though. Um, that is a thing. Yeah, that, that's, like, that's other for the only fans anyway. Other, that's the thing that other like more, uh, more professional. Uh, streamers do uh, if if like their video gets yeah, demonetized on YouTube, can. they put it on Patreon and like have just like a really low entry fee, um, just so that their audience can still like watch that vod. It's a thing that everyone's doing these these days. Anyways, the openings for the OnlyFans took neither. Of them. Wait, what? I gave you two openings for the OnlyFans joke, and you took neither of them. Oh, sorry. I was I was in like full like lecture mode right there, just talking about stuff that I, I've learned about recently. My bad. Jeez. Uh, no, I do that sometimes. Um, yeah. Uh, there's there's no sponsor today, and uh, we couldn't get anybody to uh, sponsor uh, such an absolute tragedy that this is, stream is going to be probably. Um, but uh, with that said, uh, why don't we get into it? Yeah, um, so why don't you go ahead and make a world, and we're going to probably stick on Chris's perspective for a little bit while oh. he is making the world. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And Oh, yeah, assuming and the then, game will... There it goes. All right, I'm going to turn off the music for a moment. Uh, well, he's doing that. I'm putting on my collar because I'm feeling good. <laughs> Uh, we're not going to get any uh, conservatives in uh, in our stream. Good. Great, even. I don't know. If they want to be angry at me but also throw money at me, I'll be fine with it. Um, I don't want it. My, my, you know where my mental health is at? No, uh, that's fair. You actually have a pretty good idea where my mental health is at. All right. Separation yeah, from well, main transport. I, like, I don't want to serve. Group A delivered to Calistian region. Hold on. Oh no, I, I have to. We have to get through this intro section first. Okay. 
You might want to you might want to like pull up the stream and Attention, just like watch it from your end for a second. I am Ada. Oh, I'm watching from my instance end. of the artificial okay. directory and assistant. Hi, Ada. Welcome to the Fixit Incorporated Save the Day program. Okay. A Fixit pioneer has three core assignments. Construct. All pioneers must follow Fixit guidelines and instructions when constructing any building. Automate. Every pioneer is responsible for setting up and managing efficient pipelines, outposts, and power infrastructure. Uh huh. Explore and exploit. Fix it selected planets are rich with resources suitable for direct use or further investigation. Stay oh, okay. within your designated. Oh. And that is why the world is counting on pioneers like you. Fix it. Short term solutions to long term problems. Alright, my heart rate just raised like 20 beats per minute. <laughs> Initiating planet fall. <laughs> Atmospheric oh. entry in what? three. What happened? Two, See, one. you were watching. Beginning no, I had to have a conversation with the guy. I didn't right. Sorry. That's alright. It was just a little spooky. We'll, we'll get more of that later. <laughs> Chat, you guys caught that, right? It wasn't just me. Decelerating. Decelerating. Deploying parachute. They deployed the parachute. Okay, they deploy the backup parachute. Skipping parachute. They skipping the parachute. Landing phase begun. Activating <laughs> retro propulsion. <laughs> Fucking love that shit. A lot of that wasn't new, but that little blip was new. Uh, what was the blip? Uh, I all all I, all it was was a uh, in the. We, we got a little bit of interference and in the words uh, hear our song. Exploration suit nominal. So, uh. Acceptable. Oh, good, I'm acceptable. Do you hear that, Dad? I'm acceptable. You are satisfactory. Roll credits. Nope, just acceptable, not satisfactory. Congratulations. You are ah! the third in your region ah! to survive planet oh, hi, Welcome to Massage 2, A, B, B, in the binary system of Akicha. Okay. Let's see if I can get you in now. There we go, now I can. Loading okay. objective-based introduction. Uh, Begin onboarding. Session ID, copy. First contact safety tool supplied yeah. due to presence of alien megafauna. Adhere go. to fix it procedure and equip oh. the fix it ink Xeno Zapper before leaving the drop zone. Ooh. <laughs> it's good every time. Hey, Smudge. Thanks for the 100 bit Smudge. Alright. Penelope's loading in. It's a shame that you couldn't go through that with me. That was great. I, I yeah. love the planet fall thing. That's like that's all I've experienced of 1.0 by the way so far. Uh, I I loaded it like briefly um, to test everything out, and now that it's uh, now that we're here, this is as far as I've gotten. Next objective: dismantle the drop pod. Hey, where are you at? Fix it, incorporated uh, as cost-effective and efficient. Of the, or, we do sorry, not waste. A little ways the drop, of the drop pod, pod will be recycled to construct oh, okay. the first stage of the habitat and utility I'm base. I'm often referred to as the hub. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, we're dismantling the drop pod. Hey, there you are. Next objective: use the resource scanner to find and collect additional iron to be able to build the hub. If you cannot find iron, be assured scans of the planet have revealed sufficient iron sources. <laughs> if you can't find iron, fucking try harder. Yeah, go somewhere else. God. What what a corporate uh, response to you not doing your job properly. Okay, I'm heading to some iron. Okay. I found bacon. You found bacon? Yeah. Oh, the bacon mushrooms. Yeah. Do you wonder if it actually tastes like bacon or if it's just completely a coincidence? <laughs> Gosh, I and I, I, I guess you'll get that uh, Ada line uh, when you pick up some some foods. Potential ah! edible collected. If consumed okay. before. Oh, I've got twelve hundred leaves and sixty four wood. I'm. I That's nice. I'm fighting a hog. Oh, it's dead. That was easy. Nice. Uh, 
I'm already hard at work just deforesting the region. Okay, Species you don't have to go acquired. too hard on that. Notable features are by the way. blunt teeth, suggesting it is herbivorous, and a thickly plated skull and spine, suggesting it is proficient at inflicting and receiving blunt force trauma. Preserve the remains for later study. All right. Hey, where are you at? Come on. I'm on my way. Hey, you got some bacon. Potential edible collected. I've heard the Reminder anal lines are, are particularly good do now. Do not provide sufficient um, data to determine exact risk so, of consumption. So don't, uh, what's the word? Don't sleep on them. Not fair. Uh, where's that iron? I killed, I killed a hog. Nice. Potential edible collected. If consumed before authorized is compatible with the human digestive system by Fixit, the consumer is responsible for- Oh, I don't have a jetpack. Well, she took the, um, she was nice enough to take laundry to the laundromat. However, um, she had to bring it back, uh, both going there and coming back with a cart. So it was a lot. And also, unfortunately, the dryer that it was put in did not work, oh. so we'll need to be redried. But that is okay because I'm glad she's home safe. That's that the most sucks. important. Thing. That she's home safe? No, it's wonderful that she's home safe. <laughs> oh, there's another hog. Hey, do you remember? Do you uh, recognize this site? Yeah. No, isn't this where we had like an iron mine? Yeah. Ah, there's two of them. I think my frame rate just dipped for yeah, it's di it dipped for a second there. Uh, that's unfortunate. Hang on, pulling out my FPS counter for a second here. Interesting. Uh, you guys might notice a little bit of a quality difference between uh, mine and Penelope's uh, views, by the way. It's just because uh, she's running a, a bit of an older graphics card. Yeah. Next objective. Use the build gun to construct the hub. Iron is a base component necessary for all near future progress, so ensure you build the hub close to iron sources. Fix it does not pay by the kilometer. God damn it. I noticed the stream's a little laggy. Is it? Yeah, I noticed there's like a lot of frame drop. I'm not dropping any frames. So that's on your that's on your end probably. You are playing a game, so that could be part of it. I suppose that's fair. Honestly, pa pause your stream view because yeah, uh, uh, that'll make your game running a little bit smoother. I I always keep mine paused. Okay, uh, let's start automating. Uh, where do, where do you, where do we want the hub? Uh, I doesn't matter where. Just pick a spot. Um. I oh, we can ping with uh. What? There's a ping button. There's a ping button. I know there is. It's not that one. It's not that one. Uh. No, there's a. Hold on. I'm gonna pull up the uh, settings. Controls. Keybinds. Uh, vehicles. Build. Layer. Ping. Right alt, left mouse button. Ah, there we go. Alright. Where do you want it? Oh, uh, left alt also works. Um, let's do... I don't know. Let's be scenic. Let's do it right there. Okay. Nice. <clears throat> nice. Right in the middle of this nice open area. I like it. Exactly. Okay, hub. Uh, how do we want this rotated? Let's, uh... Yep. Hmm. Let's do it like this. Hub foundation built. The hub terminal yep. and crafting bench are only the humble beginnings mm, yep. of a successful fix-it pioneer, but essential for the next steps of onboarding. We are gaming, Yodi. Once finished, the hub will function as your base of operations. Oh, hey, Timberline Objective. Pine. Complete hub upgrade one. Oh, hey, it's Dust. Welcome to the stream. Oh, I'm glad you recognize everyone's usernames. Yeah, of course. Heck I hang yeah. with these people all the time. Dust is yipping in the chat. Um, Yip. Hi. 
Uh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, by the way, did you notice the, uh, the, the, the name of our, uh, onboarding program? What is it? On the left side of the screen. Uh, onboarding program, the Pioneer. Oh, it's poop. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> it's poop. Yeah, I'm, it's so great. It's fun. Oh, wow, you did it already. Nice. Look at you. Yep. Pop upgrade one. I can just sit back and relax. And completed. This is, this is what supervising like feels like. Can now be made in the workshop. You Congrats. Congratulations on completing your first milestone, the first of many providing uh, access to new I, recipes honestly, like, and technologies for the fix admission. Honestly, a lot of this intro part doesn't require any uh, automation, edition, so like, yeah, that we can just like two. quickly rush through this. Mm -hmm. All oh, right. Uh, there are a few glitches with this uh, game. Uh, we're hoping that it doesn't crash on us. The the developers are really good at like fixing bugs, so I don't suspect that it would it'll last an, longer than like another week before they've got another patch out. But um, there are still some things that are like affecting the game. So hopefully we don't uh, have the game crash on us. Here's hoping. Oh, uh, here. I'm gonna turn on some chill music because because this game is kind of quiet and we can't really turn on the music because otherwise you'll uh, it'll be jarring for you guys when we switch between our, our views. Does the music exactly. play on both of our? Of course, occasionally oh. I will sing Hang to on. you, my lovely viewing audience, and I hope you didn't. I hope you have the good sense to mute the stream during those times. Give me a moment, everyone. I need to change the audio output device for title. Uh, you just keep going, Penelope. You're, you, and, and I don't think I can really help you much here anyways, since this feels like a one-person job for the moment. Um, yep. Here we go, sound output. Uh, I need it to go to four. There we go, now you can hear it on both of our uh, views. Okay. I'm getting. There's a bunch of Easter eggs in, in like the dialogues and stuff here. Um, so if you if you guys keep an eye open for uh, stuff, you'll probably see some fun things. Hey, where'd you go? I'm over at the crafting bench. Oh, you're back. Oh, uh, Penelope, that crafting bench is identical to the one on the hub. I know. The oh. reason is because I don't want to be in your. I don't want to be in. Oh. I don't want there to be a queue for the crafting bench. No, that's smart. That's smart. We, we, we were definitely going to build one anyways. Uh, could we move that to the other side of the hub? Because I bet you'll be working more on this side than the other side. Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll move it. I'll move it. I'll move it. Okay. okay I got it. I need more. Um, oh, we got a equipment workshop available now. Okay. Uh, here, I'm going to put it over. Oh, no, I need more iron rods. Here. Um. Oh, cool. We got our personal storage box now. I'll put some. I'll put our food in there, and the uh, hog remains. Okay. Um. Oh, right. So I can see the milestone now. Um. You're working on the iron rods. Yep. Do, already done. Do we have? Oh, we can't. We can't scan for copper yet. Oh wait. Now we can. Home upgrade two. Power and shell completed. The smelter can turn raw uh, ore such as copper and iron into ingots, and the biomass burner generates power when fueled. Fun fact, most of the native flora and fauna is compatible Music with fixed technology. Fueling the biomass burner okay, with inappropriate on, materials will result in deductions or even cancellation of your yearly bonus. Oh no, Next our bonus! Objective, Actually, wait, I'm being attacked, aren't I? Grade three. Yep, I'm being attacked. Where, wait, where are you? Hang on. I'm over here. It's fine, I got it. I am a dodgy motherfucker. I helped. Thanks. Appreciate you. Thanks for calling out the music thing, by the way, uh, Yodi. I, I know that title can be very loud. It defaults to ear splitting for some reason. How is, how is everyone's day? I'd love to get a pulse check from everybody before I start rambling on about my bullshit. God, nice so corporate then, word, pulse check. I work I work a nine to five, okay? I, don't I know, know so do I. Work. We use the word I, pulse check every day. I 
I'm also a member of a diversity and inclusion council. Thank you. Uh, I have to do, I have to do this it. all the time. Yeah, I will brag about it. Thank you. Oh, I'm hey, very proud of my Oh, it's, it's empty. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Did you find any copper yet? Yeah, I did. Awesome. We got, we got one over some... here. Uh, can we build miners yet? No, we can't. Not yet. No, yeah, we need we need a little more We're time. I'm gonna dare. iron to iron ingots. All right, I'm making them copper. Uh, remember that uh, instead of like pressing and holding it with your mouse, if you just tap your space bar, it, it'll just you don't have to push any buttons. Thank just, you. I appreciate crap. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit, Pen is the diversity and yeah, I am. I'm the diversity hi. She is the <laughs> diversity <laughs> and the inclusion. Yeah. Which is why I'm the mean one. You're not mean, silly. Wow, that's what a di what a di diverse and inclusive thing to say. You are a respected and beloved member of this team and community. Chat. Hey, chat. Chat. Are you guys are you guys feeling included? Honestly, I, I think your company made the right choice by uh, getting you as the uh, diversity and inclusion person. I think, well, that's not my entire job, but that's like one of the things I do at my job. It's it's, like, it's more of like I'm a volunteer of thing, if I understand correctly, for the most part. Pretty much. It's very it's really cool because my company will have a specific part of my workday set up for diversity and inclusion stuff. And basically, as long as my normal work stuff gets done, uh, I can focus in on diversity and inclusion stuff. And if I ever need assistance with my work, I am allowed to go to my supervisor and be like, hey, look, I've also got to do this and this today. I need mm -hmm. this done. Uh, how can we get this all, all this shit done today without affecting our workflow? And then, then they'll have to dedicate resources to helping me make my stuff covered while I'm going to handle diversity and inclusion because, oh boy, we do not want to, we don't want to mess up the the fun stuff. Fair. The fun stuff being, uh, we're actually trying. I, I'll delve a little bit into this because this isn't this isn't corporate secret stuff. I don't think. And besides, no one knows where I work. Um, yeah, we're trying to make sure we keep our yellow ribbon accreditation, which is for veteran fam veteran and veteran family hiring friendly. So like we're a company that's like super friendly for veterans to get jobs through. And we're trying to on. ensure that we have our accreditation for it. Just realized I had my flashlight. <laughs> it's B for flashlight. Yeah, for flashlight. You know, if they just put demolish under B, I'm pretty sure no one would get mad. What do you mean? No, the demolish button needs to be way closer to to, to your like uh, Wazda cl cluster. I guess they could just make it X then. You got uh, you got some more iron rods. Oh uh, yeah, I do. I've got fifteen. What do you need? Yeah, toss them in the thing. We're done. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, okay, what's the next one? Hub upgrade three. Interior furnishing we need cable. Ooh. The constructor can and produce iron simple plates. parts. I'm gonna get the iron started. Look at the interior. The expansion of the power grid. Huh? When you make house. the inevitable mistake, Ooh, fix it's this dismantling nice. feature is designed to salvage all resources what? used during construction, in line with our zero top waste policy. Mine. We understand that fix-it pioneers are only human, and thus prone to error. Next objective, complete hub upgrade 4. Ooh, this toilet is, it splashes the ground, that's unfortunate. Oh, we even got a little sink. Hell yeah. This this sink corner just feels like the sink corner is at my office. I don't know if anybody in the chat has ever worked in in like a, you know, a corporate office setting. Check check me out. Huh? Oh, nice. Really gold? All right. You, we're we we backed it during the Well, oh, oh Actually, right, you got the Steam version, you I don't. The, the, it's a bug right now that the epic uh, version of, of the game doesn't uh, acknowledge mm, people zip, who zip, uh, zip. were in the early access yet. But they it will. It's just that they're they haven't got it yet. Yeah, it's B for demolish. 
Anyway, uh, I switched out of the gold helmet because it's a little ostentatious, and I switched it over is. to the other helmet. Gold is some is a color that should not exist on most things. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go. S wait, can I build miners yet? Let's see. I'm gonna go no. full red. I can't. That's unfortunate. Okay, I'm gonna go mine some iron. I'll be back. There we go. I'm red now. Uh, what can we build? Uh, oh, we uh, and also Yodi mentioned now. they're doing opening shift tomorrow, which, hey, I'm, you know, wow. Yodi, oh, thank you for the gifted, oh yeah, you gifted a one, a one month tier one sub to Dust. Thank you so much, Smudge. Yeah, and enjoy your emotes that are mostly me right now, but it's fine. We're, we're, we're still on the lookout. Hey, chat, if yeah. you guys know any uh, cool artists that do emotes, Maybe toss toss them in like the stream suggestions channel on the Discord. We'd love we'd love to uh, we'd love to find a cool artist for our emotes. Maybe once Macha's done moving. Yeah, that could that could work. Yeah, cause she does a lot of my emotes too. Okay, what are we working on next? Oh, uh, okay. I'll get. What are you working on right now? What are you getting? I'm getting iron. Okay, I'll go get limestone. Okay, awesome. Do we have enough coppers to do 20 cable? Uh, no, not yet. Okay, then uh, I'm gonna start converting over the uh, hang on, let me think here. Iron plates is three to one, so it's three iron. So in order, no, to it's it's, five, th it's three to two. Is it? Oh, is it make two iron plates every time? Yeah, it's three okay, to two. It's it's weird. Oh, I forgot. I can slide. Hang on. I oh, yeah. Can, and then if, if, if uh, the slide jump is the way to get the, the most distance. Uh, you're still running the gold helmet, by the way. Am I really? I thought I switched it. Um, no, it still looks gold to me. Hang on. Vehicle. Oh, crush, oh wait. You're crush, red, crush. too? Ah, oh, beans. Yeah. All right. We both have red color schemes, huh? Yeah, I know. I don't see crouch on my screen. Let's see. Well, I know. I'm just trying to find the... Why? Do you want to change it? Yeah, I want to change it to one of my mouse buttons. Oh. Uh... Oh, that's weird. Where is it? I it's definitely it. in there. Probably. Uh... Hold on. It's, it would be under player sec settings. Yeah. Cycle next equipment, cycle to previous equipment, holster, ghost fly, teleport. That make her uh, there it is. It's under player movement. Is, oh, wait, is that its own? Is that its own? Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah. I didn't know. Also, there's a search bar at the thing. top. Don't forget about the search bar. Oh, I didn't see it because I have my thing in the way. Oh. Since it doesn't show my FPS right now, I'm just going to disable that. Yeah, you, you, so, you don't need that on now. We, we could see it, so, like, yeah, you want that turned off. Yeah, I don't need to hit C anymore. I can just use one of my side mouse buttons to, to, to slide around. Oh, okay. I like C. C is a good... A, it's a good letter. Not biased at all. You got the iron? Yeah, I'm just turning it into iron ingots. Oh, wait, I'll, I'll give you some. Hang on. No, 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 I don't need any. I, I'm just going to go get the, the copper then. Okay. I thought for sure a minute I'm not overlapping with what you're doing. Hey, well, I don't know if they all means overlap. We need all the iron we can get. I mean, yes, but we're, gonna, we're just going to rush to, to the automation part of this game. True, we are trying to get to it. Yeah. Don't worry, oh. chat. We will have a we will have some lovely moments to look over the scenery because this game can be, in fact, quite beautiful. Oh yeah. It's just a shame that we are here to capitalize on this beauty. Yeah. It's not like it's gonna get less beautiful because of what we're doing. I don't know about that one, Jeff. <laughs> well, he's gotta make sure that our buildings aren't ugly. We are kind of destroying the natural ecosystem, Chief. I don't think we are. We've got the iron component made. Um, All right, cool. 
and multiple people, no, multiple people cannot be used for crafting goods. Okay, cool. That's why I made a second one. Yeah, I know. I was just double checking in case they had changed it in the in the updates. Uh, while while we're working on this, here's a conversation card. Um, okay, good. What's a skill you learned when you were young that you still use today? Huh. Uh, for me, problem solving. It's one of my core skills. Okay, so we're okay. We're doing like a broad answer. Okay, critical be, thinking is definitely mine. You can be broader specific. Um, Critical thinking is the only reason why I managed to get through college, which is sad. It's not that sad. Uh, well, you got through college. That's. I did get through college. C's yeah. get degrees. Oh, no, I never got C's. I got A's and D's. The only time I ever got below an A or B in college was when I took Japanese. Fucking I got a about C it. my first semester and a D my second semester. I, I dropped out of Japanese and went back to French. Hey, uh... Japanese is so hard. It's really hard. <laughs> it's like, I'm not joking. It's like, it was I really know. confusing, especially when I was trying to manage all the other stuff in my degree. Uh, fun fact, I know a itty bitty minuscule amount of Japanese because because I, I learned karate. It's so terribly uh, minuscule. It's not I'm even useful. I'm also gonna make screws, by the way. Oh, okay. It's not even useful Japanese. Help it's it's fucking four. like martial Landing arts Japanese. Form and utilities completed. Conveyor belts connect the output of one building to the input of okay, another and transport resources. Still don't have miners yet. Due to past incidents, I have been asked to issue I'm gonna a get clarification. On the rods. Um, Portable miners do you have obviously extra limestone ready? do not have a connection for conveyor belts. Hold on, hold on. There is nothing to suggest, visually or functionally, that they can be connected to portable miners. <laughs> if this is something you struggle with, do not worry. Fixit has alternative uses for all their pioneers. Oh. Next objective: complete hub upgrade five. She was basically okay. calling calling out people who think that they can connect uh, portable miners to uh, conveyor belts. That's rough. Your helmet's still gold, by the way. God damn it! Hang on, let me change it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got lump! Oh my... hell yeah! My bunk has a lump and a me seeks cube. My, is it still gold? Yes. It's not gold on when I was when I, when I fixed it just now, so that's unfortunate. Yeah. I guess I'm stuck this way. <laughs> How did you change it? It, it? It's its own separate helmet, right? Yeah. Huh. I switched it over and it, I did like I picked the one with the multiple like goggles and stuff on it. Yeah, it, it's the one with the multiple goggles, but now it's gold. It's, Wait, the, it's is... the right helmet. It's just gold for some reason. Oh, weird. Huh, I'm not sure if that's a glitch or not. Anyways, um, uh, okay, what the, do we need? What's the limestone to concrete? Uh, it's... Uh, it's basically like one to one, one, to one I think. Hang on, let me check. Okay, I'm gonna mix... I'm gonna no, it's three to one. Then. Fuck. Hang on, I, I should have... I should be able to bang out the cable here. Okay, I, I've got enough concrete. Or I've got enough limestone for the rest of the concrete, too. Okay. So I'm coming back. <laughs> no, 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 no. With an E smudge. An E. I mean, you should also not connect uh, conveyor belts to... Uh... <laughs> also, aren't Children. most most miners are also portable, typically. I just realized. Well, we're wait well, you're banging out the rest of the cable. I'm going to keep mining some iron just so that we have something to do. As it turns out, this cable is awfully slow to build. Oh, wait, I need to convert the wire first. Then it'll tell me recording my No, 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 no. We're not We're not smash players. We don't do that sort of thing. Cotton 1040p? What? <laughs> what camera are you using? <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking got a band cam. <laughs> That's a fucking callback. Do you remember when every other YouTube video had like band cam at the top of it? 
Uh, no. Hub upgrade five. No? I, I remember completed. unregistered hypercam. Minor, I don't remember Bandicam. Unregistered hypercam is also one of them, yeah. But, um, but Bandicam was, was the thing Caution. for OBS. As you expand, oh. energy demand of your production okay. may exceed the capacity of your so power trash. grid. The onboarding program was established because Fixit pioneers often experience memory issues after planet fall. Oh, good. If you are experiencing nosebleeds, nausea, existentialism, or an itchy scalp, there is no need for concern. This should pass within five to seven work days. Next oh, that's objective: good. complete hub upgrade six. I was I, I was I was worried that uh, that the existentialism was going to be permanent. That's good. Uh, okay, so we need. Actually, hang on. I'm banging out some iron right now, so I'll get to work on the rods and then the plates. Can you start getting the copper and the concrete ready? Heck yeah. Look at you taking charge. You're great. Uh, actually, I might be able 43. to get that copper wire already with what I have in my inventory. Cotton a DS screen. <laughs> Cotton one. Cotton one P. It's just a single pixel. Pixels red. Oh my gosh. Twitch doesn't have 4K. Uh, that would be... I to... uh, I, my, my internet connection would not be able to sustain a, a 4K stream. <laughs> I don't think very many people I know would be able to either. You, you, you would need like a gigabit... Uh, you would need one of those fiber optic uploads uh, in, in, or connections in order to do that much upload. Yeah. Um, so, fun fact, I, whenever Frosty gets to do the stretch now, I lean back, and because she sits right next to me, she can kiss me, and it's really quiet and everything. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stretch back right now, and I get lots of attention. Uh, <gasps> it's really nice. It. L streamer? I know, right? L streamer. Dude, does every other L streamer lean oh. back and get covered in kisses and love? No. I know, I, I think they were talking about me, me, but. Yeah. You, you, you got the limestone yet? Do I have the. No, I was working on the iron. I'm getting it then. Yeah, I need to. I got 72 iron plates. I need more iron. Hang on. You're watching this with Smell of Vision? I'm so sorry. Oh yeah, she can sniff my shoulder, which is nice. Oh, okay. Good, you can't smell me. That's all that matters. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. My life has improved quite substantially since the last time we played this game. Oh yeah. Um, because I think you moved. Not only oh wait, no, you, you I, moved. I, you I moved. moved. I don't actually remember if you moved before or after we, we played last time. We, I moved. Uh, after we finished playing this game the last time. Okay. Um, so, yeah, no, like, af so, after the last time we played this game, I got into a successful, like, few relationships. I moved to a new state. Oh, yeah. I got a better paying job at the same company I work with. I, yeah, no, it's, everything's going really well. Nice. I'm surrounded by friends and loved ones who care for me. Yeah. And also me. You're like one of my closest friends. Actually, you are my best friend. <laughs> yeah, I am. I just like hearing it. Uh huh. Uh -huh. It's nice to have a best friend, you know? You're yeah, my best friend, yeah. too, by the way. Aw, thank you. Speaking of which, uh, in what way do you feel your childhood was happier than other people's? Wow, this is not this is a question. Is this, is this a question card? <laughs> it's a conversation card, yeah. Okay. Um. Uh. Gosh, I I hope this doesn't this question doesn't bring up any bad feels for anybody. It, the question is, what in what ways did my childhood differ from other people's childhood? Was and was happier than than other people? Oh, was happier. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. I had a family that didn't wasn't prone to arguing was, was but instead was prone to discussion and that was great because being an, an analytical and neurodivergent kid uh, I oftentimes had questions that most parents would just yell at you and uh, 
get you and, and like tell you to just like work harder. So I I, I think I, I grew up in a pretty nice uh, household for uh, for That's somebody good. who's neurodivergent. I'm gonna have the iron rods ready in just a second, by the way. Nice. I got the concrete ready um, soon too. Okay. Yeah, I need to get more iron for the iron plates, I think. Cause yeah, I only have a hundred iron ingots. Oh, all right. That's all the concrete. Uh, boop. Uh, need help with any of the other two? Uh, hang on. I think I we got... actually have enough iron. I, I just I need put to confirm in two iron. iron plates. I hope that helps. I did a little. I need 26 more. So give me one second. I've just got to craft some more iron. Okie doke. Uh, so my childhood is happier than others. I mean, I this will is... say that my my parents both loved me very substantially. Mm -hmm. Even if we had a kind of dysfunctional family, and even if they argued sometimes, they still did love me in spite of everything. That's still something that, I, that I'm pretty grateful for. Nice. Cool. Give me a second. Um... Oh, you got it. All right, cool. Yep. All right. The hub is finished. Six. Landing oh, wait, wait, come out, come out, come out, look. look, 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 look. Freighter landing initialized. Congratulations, you have completed hey. onboarding and achieved the absolute minimum skill level <laughs> required of a Fixit pioneer. <laughs> Fixit looks forward to your future achievements. These because always a future crack you up. With Fix I remember a future with you. when we did this last time. Tier like one and two, two milestones are now available the in the hub. Oh, yeah. Now we got the mass can now be built yeah. digitally. Your first official objective is to initiate project assembly by building the space uh, elevator. So we still don't This have objective will take a significant amount of miners. resources, so fix we it. Do have, actually, we have Miner work. Mark 1. Yeah, we do. We got, uh, that's what we need. Yeah. Portable miners are okay. uh, built in the equipment workshop. Here, I'll... Uh, oh, we don't have the uh, ingredients yeah. for that yet. Hang on, I'll, I'll build one. I just got to get all the ingredients ready. Now we start automating. This is, this is where we need to get the automation going. I don't have enough iron rods. Uh, hang on. Give me a second. How many iron rods do you need? Uh, three. Three? Here By the way, have seven. you noticed how fast the autosave is? It's really sweet. Yeah. It, it, it used to take like a second. Now it now it's very, it's just like a slight hitch. It's great. Oh, thank you for joining us, Frosty. Okay. See you later, Frosty. I want this lined up properly. Oh, uh, oh no, I was just saying, it was wonderful to have you for the stream. Center? I think it's center. Yeah, it's pretty close. There we go, equipment workshop built. Nice. Nice. I'm gonna start getting working on the biomass burners. Uh, oh, okay, you're building some? Yeah, I'm gonna build some. We've got two in the back of the uh, hub to start with. I'll build one more and then I'll set up a power connection bolt or some power poles. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Can we make biomass yet? We can. I'm gonna start converting biomass then. Okay. We got Actually, plenty of these and stuff. So. No, that's probably a bad idea. I, I, we need to get more miners uh, going. Hang on. Uh, let's. I need one, two, we need three miners, which means we need three portable miners. So I'll add one, two of those to our to-do list as well. There we go. Okay. Let me go get some ingredients. Uh, right. Oh, wait. I don't need any copper for that. All right. To the iron. Well, to the concrete first, I guess. Don't forget, you can add things to your to-do list. Oh, yeah, that's right. How do I do that again? Uh, when you're in the crafting interface or in the building interface or whatever, there's, like, plus icons and stuff. Yeah. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Awesome. Hey, while you're out getting concrete, is the copper right next to it? Uh, no. 
Okay, I'll go get copper then. I was just gonna see if it was convenient for you to grab it, but if okay. not, I'll just go get some. Actually, here's a couple more. more. I'm gonna take a portable miner, and we're gonna toss it onto the, uh... Oh, hey, the portable miner is the same color as me. Nice. I guess that means that yours will be a different color than mine. Okay. Maybe. I, we're not going to be using portable miners very often, but still, nice enough. For sure. What's the copper wire ratio again? Is it 2-1 or is it 1-1? One, one? Uh, I think you get more copper wire for each iron, or for each copper. Oh, okay. So it's like 1-3 to three or something. Oh, okay. So in that case, that should be good on the wire. I'm, I'm not so sweaty as to memorize those sorts of things. Oh, you do. It's it's one to two for copper ingots. Yeah. Well, it makes sense. Wire is kind of thin and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I am eloquent. So loquacious. Uh, we need to we need to rush uh, the, the movement equipment the um, the exoskeleton because I I hate how slow we move right now. Yeah, I feel that. Oh, I need concrete too. Okay, where's the limestone? It's over by me. Okay, I see it. Oh, my character model like crouches when I'm when I'm doing the thing. Yeah. Does oh. mine do that? Yeah. I mean, it makes sense, but like your camera doesn't change height. So it it doesn't look like you're doing it on your side. You know? No, I get that. Yeah. Okay. Give me concrete or give me Actually, just give me concrete. Okay, I got concrete. Next up, iron. Hopefully the portable miner has gotten some iron. Oh wow, that thing, it works fast. We should have set up one of those ages ago. It, it works way oh, faster it? than we do. Oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> whoops. All right, well, this isn't a speed run. When 1.0 released, there was some guy that uh, that beat uh, the entire game in like under 24 hours. Damn! Like after it released, it was wild. Do you know that gamer terminology now? Like uh, sweaty or whatever? Yeah, that's 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 uh, at least seven or eight years out. Is it? I've, it's yeah. only been like filtering into MySpace like in the last six months. No, Sweaty's been around for ages and ages. Wow. All right. Well. It's at least seven or eight, seven or eight years out. I am once again behind the times. As is tradition. It happens. Sweaty's been around for a long time. The Sweaty COD game or something I heard a lot when I was like 13. Oh. I don't know, it, it feels like it's more commonplace now than perhaps. Okay. All right, I've, I'm converting over tons of biomass and I'm going to have the um, the biomass burners full. I'm gonna get a power network set up. And then once we're ready to get everything sorted for the, uh, like the miners, instead of using portable miners, we'll have those ready. Yeah, I'm getting miners built. Okay, awesome. Typically, the strategy is to like start at the beginning of the chain and work your way forward when you're first setting up. That way, you have the materials that you need for the next step every time. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just getting the power network ready. Uh, Don't Here we sweat. Go. Okay, uh, first, we got a miner here. 
All of this is temporary, by the way. Just want to make that super clear, because, uh... Yeah, I know. This is not going to look neat until we get foundations built. Uh, then we got one on the oh, you're limestone. Telling Kevin out there. I'm kind of telling everyone. There we go. We got one on the limestone, and then I'm going to put one on the copper. up power I need more ingredients for that oh there's the pancake goodbye pancake uh, the okay. sky pancake has blessed us this day Indeed. I'm surprised it's not a night out actually uh I think the day-night cycle was elongated because uh, there was like some significant issues in the past where people were complaining about like not uh, it being night too frequently or something because it, it's hard to see at night and so they like did a few things to like try and fix that oh oh uh okay I know. Can... I'm just. I'm gonna. Here, I'm gonna I, I, I have enough ingredients for another power pole. I'll, I'll put another one down just so it looks a bit nicer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I, know, I got you. I was gonna do that. I just. I was. I was being lazy. Oh, okay. There's one there. You already got it. Okay, you got it. One there, and then. Uh, oh, you got that one. Perfect. Okay. Yep, I got it. Heck yeah. Okay, so then... He's mining. It is alive. And you were worried that you wouldn't be able to keep up with me. I'm having a hard time keeping up with you. Okay, so now that we have this, this is for iron, so I do want to get... You're going to need iron what's line the set up? Output? Yeah, what's All the right. output on that? 120 per minute? Okay. Uh yeah okay so hold up hold up hold up let's 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 coordinate here now that we actually have like the ability to kind of work on separate things so you're gonna do the iron right yeah I'm gonna get iron plates and iron rods set up okay okay you're gonna do that meanwhile I'm gonna try and get the uh, concrete and uh, copper line set up then awesome awesome let's do it okay uh do you have an excess of materials? I guess we don't really have any anything like that yet. Not really, no. No. Okay. All right. Hang on. Uh... Mm. Oh, do we have splitters yet? We don't. So keep that in mind. Yeah. No, I got you. We actually might we might want to rush a few more uh, objectives before we like fully set up our lines. Uh... What's our Hold on, let's see. What what do we what do we want here? We want uh, we want logistics. So here, I'll select that one for us. <laughs> the old cotton hot libraries. I suspect you learned so many insults from people younger than you. Am I right? That that feels like the tradition. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say anything. We're getting, getting yelled at by an eight-year-old. Uh, no, it was deaf older people than me. Many slurs were learned. Were you the young one? You were playing when you were 13, from what you said. So I assume, yeah, you you were the you were the 13 year old that was shouting things, obscenities at, at people. I've heard some real garbage and stuff like cod lobbies. Yeah, honestly.
have shit talk with Penny and VC about uh, open Overwatch, though. OW can mean so many things. I, it, it, I don't... It's weird that you're short forming Overwatch with that. Shit. What? Messed up. Uh, oh, you need ingots first. You need a smelter. Yeah, I, I, I forgot. Okay. Production, smelter. I need fucking rods for that? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Okay. You ever try to smelt something without a rod? I mean... I mean, I'm never without my rod, honestly. <laughs> kind of attached. Wait, yours isn't, isn't attachable? I thought everyone's was. Is that just me? Uh, my my uh, will one day be, be detached. <laughs> I wouldn't say detachable is the correct word. Fair. No, actually, that's a lie. I'm not actually going to get that one done. Really? All right. Yeah, no, I um, tell a lie. Can I do this yet? Oh, if you oh right, if you hold control now, you can snap the uh, the building to like guidelines really? from other stuff. It's it's not super helpful when we have uh, foundations, but like right now, it's really good. Oh, can I can I connect it in? Can I do that? Oh, not many plates. Hang on. Oh, it's not gonna connect. I gotta put down another one. God damn it. That's an, that's annoying. Logistics conveyor belt. Uh, I'm pretty sure nearly everyone who plays it shorthands it to OW. All right, whatever you say. The power and the. I just live in a place where OW is is references our welfare system. So. so what's uh... the it's... Okay, so that's 120 iron produced per minute. Oh, ad break. Right, and also middle that. middle click uh, is is the paint the like eyedropper tool, as well. Okay. Cool. Do we need to do ad breaks for this? Can we just? No, let's just work working. through it. Yeah, exactly. We'll do we'll we'll do our cards and stuff. So to remind everybody, we do ad breaks uh, regularly through the stream, so that way people don't need to get ads when they first join the stream. We do that so that way people can just jump in and start enjoying the fun right away. Yeah. But we don't if scare you are a away. subscriber, you do not get ads at all. And we yeah. highly suggest you subscribe. We would really appreciate it anyway. And that way you don't need to deal with the ads. Yeah. <clears throat> Are you okay. a morning or a night person? Uh, depends on um, how I how I am feeling that day. I thought you were going to say, depends on what time zone I'm in. Um, <laughs> I'm a strictly a Pacific Standard Time person. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. For me, I'm I'm almost exclusively a, a night person. I like quiet, and the night is the quietest time of day. Um, Those and, splitters means we can't do shit. Yeah, I know. Um, that's that's why we uh, we need to rush the uh, logistics milestone. Uh, if anything, I should be working on the copper line instead of the uh, uh, concrete line right now. But I'm kind of already committed to that, so I'm just gonna, I'm just doing it. I'm uh, setting up storage container just so that we have a uh, big ol' stockpile being built up. Uh, here, I'll just take it. And I don't have enough iron plates. God fucking damn it. So slippery. My fingers. They cannot grip. Uh, I love stealing stuff from my own fucking lines. What's, sure. what's the well, best? Uh, one day your welfare system with Microsoft has anything to say about it. What? <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, that's beautiful. I love that. Smudge, you are a godsend. You are, like, oh, yeah. really amazing. I love having you around. Smudge is pretty uh, good. Yeah, Smudge is really great. Both, both because of the comedy and also because of the money that you've uh, donated to our stream. <laughs> Super appreciate you. Thank you for the support. And also thank you for being a great person. 
Okay, we have a supply of iron plates moving out. Concrete is happening. Nice. Cool. Let me check the biomass burners really quickly and see how we're doing on fuel. Oh, uh, are you are you running leaves or biomass? Biomass. Oh, good. Okay, I was gonna say that that would be a that'd be a mistake if you were running leaves. What's the best hotel no, you've no, ever no. stayed in and why? Uh, that's an easy one actually. I was in Florida with uh. Yeah, no, Chris Karras. Chris, Chris would. Pro I think. You I got could a probably shell. cohabitate. <laughs> yeah, I think you could probably cohabitate in like a, some sort of environment. Um, so the best hotel I've ever stayed at was in Florida. It was yeah. the uh, it was one of the amusement parks there. I don't actually remember if it was Disney World or not. I remember it's like the one with the big volcano. Okay. That one, yes. And then that was so cool. Oh, I should. So while, okay, so while this is doing this, I'm actually going to manually start making the iron rods because I don't, is there, hold on a minute, is there another one nearby? Let me see. I, actually, I suppose I could just go to this iron right here and start, it's pure, yeah, I could probably just get an iron, a minor mark. Okay, um, I'm gonna do that actually. What? Uh, but yeah, it was that? It was like a, a cabana style Americana hotel. <gasps> what was the nicest one you've ever stayed at? Oh, uh, it was, uh, I think Costa Rica. Um, all inclusive the resort. The, 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 not the state. The fucking. The, the country. The, yes. The country. Yes. That uh, the uh, it was in Costa Rica. Uh, I don't I don't think it was like a chain or anything. Obviously, it, but it was an all inclusive resort. Um, it, I was in my teens uh, at the time, so like it, it was a family thing. Um, and uh, just all inclusive resort. It was beautiful. There was like very few other people on it, like at the time. So it was just like. Like my, our family, like a couple others. Um, the breakfasts were amazing. I, which is kind of like the the biggest highlight for any sort of like place that I stay at. Um, the people there were super friendly. Uh, and that's that's all just a hotel. Like that, that there was very uh, like I'm not even talking about the the experience outside of it, but just it was just a gorgeous, gorgeous resort super blessed and, and to have a family that that could afford to take us on that sort of thing yeah that's really cool i the first time i'd ever been outside of the country was i think when i visited you. actually yeah it was for sure when i visited you yeah it was okay uh i need to smelt and then construct and then another construct okay so that's what i need Oh, they Why added. The huh? What? Oh, you're trying to make wire. I'm, I'm, t I'm turning it into wire and then into cable. Got it. Okay. okay. Uh, incidentally, actually, that does mean I also want um, one, two storage containers as well. There we go. Okay. Um. So I need to convert a bunch. Actually, wait. You've got iron running now, so I can just pull from your iron line. Yep. Oh, it is. Oh, going. Yikes. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I pulled some out. Hang on. Uh, how, did you need some plates? Oh, uh, no, I'm fine. Okay. I say without checking. <laughs> Hang on. I should be fine, yeah. Just working through it. Yeah, I'm good for plates. I'm just making the uh, rods now and reinforced iron plates and stuff. Okay. For real though, everyone, thank you so much for your support. Uh, we've been overwhelmed uh, with how how much support we've received over the last month or so. Um, it's it's yeah. it, like 
and it, it's made us super like comfortable doing this. Um, sure, we're not doing it full time, clearly, but still, um, the, it just yeah, you, the, it gives us confidence that like we're doing the right thing. Yeah, and honestly, um, I'm stealing some of your concrete. I'm so sorry. How dare! I'm stealing half of your concrete stack. Never mind. The channel's dead. <sighs> <laughs> Yeah, no, like, honestly, I, like, it's so cool to see people come out and support. And it kind of keeps the dream alive that one day I'm, we might be able to do this full time ourselves and be able to support ourselves on the stream. Yeah. Like, and that's really cool, honestly. I, we, we still have to work hard to keep building our community up and everything, but uh, it would not be possible at all without you guys and your support. So, yeah. like Chris said, thank you so much. It really means the world. And we don't just mean like monetary support, by the way, guys. Like just telling your friends, uh, just you know, showing up. Yeah, showing up. Just like being here is enough. If you can't afford to donate, that's cool. Just like the fact that you're here and you're, you know, experiencing what we experience along with us, like that emotional yeah, support, exactly. like that, like that's that's all we really need. We just, we're just here to have fun. Like, the, the idea of doing this for a living is just kind of like, um, you know, an aspirational goal, really. Also, I think you were way too nervous about, like, getting in my way. <laughs> you're, you're on top of this shit. My goodness. I want you to recognize how good you are at this right now. Yeah. The, the, the hard stuff good. will come. Like that, that there are the, the advanced recipes and like automating all of that shit is a pain in the ass if you're doing it for the first time. And and I'll definitely help with that. But like this early stuff is a piece of cake. Okay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna check our power it. output really quickly. Oh yeah. Where? Oh, I can check out the power pulses, right? Smelter here. Uh, so... By the way, if you hit, when you're building a conveyor belt, if you hit R, you can change your build mode to like straight. It'll give you like perfect right angles. Yeah, I'm, I'm using control. No, 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 so no. I... If you, if the build mode. Build mode? What do you mean? When you're when you're building something and it'll it'll it might show you a build mode and it might say default. If you hit R, you you can switch build mode, and it gives oh, it gives okay. you different options for like how it draws the line basically. So like curves and stuff basically is, is how it does it. For pipes and there's a bunch of different options for like for conveyor belts. So there's uh, straight and default. Straight okay. just gives you perfect right angles. It's uh it's really cool. It's gonna save us a ton of time making our conveyor belts look nice. Nice. Okay. Oh shoot! I forgot to account for the conveyor belts that I needed. Son of a bitch. Do you have a wire set up yet? Uh, I'm working on it. Okay. Where are you anyway? There you are. I'm in your dreams, like uh, like that guy. Yeah, that that one man. Yeah. You know the guy. Yeah, he's I, a dream guy. Yeah, everyone knows the guy. Freddy? Freddy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Is that actually the dream guy? I don't know. Uh, oh, our power is out. What happened? Is here? it? No, it's it's not. Why is yeah, the copper line not fine. running then? Did you select a, you didn't select the recipe. Oh. I need that. You wanted wire in this one, right? Huh? Yeah. You want, okay. I'm stealing your copper. <gasps> Why is I'm not, I'm not, I'm Oh, not, I'm glitch. Not, I'm not. Oh wait, no, I fixed it. I fixed it. That was weird. Do I need? to make more. Oh, wait. We have the iron lines now. I can just grab some of those. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Iron. Mm, iron. 
That's a kobold thing, isn't it? <laughs> huh? That's a kobold thing, isn't it? We're just like, mm, yeah, it might be. so good once things are automated this is one of the things oh, that yeah. like I, I always had a hard time like fully wrapping my brain around in Factorio because um, I always felt like that game was a fucking slog um, and the only reason I, I felt that way was because I I kept like forgetting or I, I didn't realize that I, I the best way to play that game was if you need something automate it don't manually do it Every time. It doesn't matter how much of the thing you need, always automate it. Um, and, like, that game always felt like a slog. And so, like, now that I know that and, like, we're actually, like, automating stuff here, it just feels so good when, like, you, you need something, you go get it. You don't need to, like, exactly. make it yourself. It's so yeah. good. I love Factorio so much. I'm so happy. Did I? Was I actually the one who got you into it? I can't remember. No, no, no. I've been into that game for a while. Uh, okay. I, so I, I actually that that was one of the first games that I think I uh, I actually did like a um, a collaborative a, a collab with another streamer on. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, T Bub. Uh, if anybody, I don't think anybody will recognize the name. He's not super big. I don't even think he streams anymore. Um, but yeah, the, uh, we, we kind of connected on, uh, Factorio for a little while. All right, copper is automated. Awesome, awesome. We are doing fantastically on biomass. Yeah, I've been going over there and topping it up every now and again. Nice. Uh, the, 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 the... Standalone biomass burners have an input now, so like we could be eating those off of uh, like const constructors or whatever. Cool. We now have an automation for iron plates and iron pipes. Gotcha. I'm gonna turn off the cable production so that we build up a stockpile of wire. Got it. Got it. I'm gonna top off the biomass. And let's get this. Let's get, let's get this logistics milestone done. Yeah. Let's go. Whatever I have in my inventory in there. It's probably a mistake, but fuck it. Yeah, probably. Where did you get all those iron plates? What? I've just been pulling them from your, your box. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, yeah. This is the boring part. Now we have to let's go let's go explore for a little bit. We gotta we gotta wait for the factory. I topped off the biomass burners. Let's go run around. Uh, we can't, unless you want, unless there's something else you want to do. I'm gonna right go now. get that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get some. I'm gonna go get the, uh, the, the power slug. Up there. Okay. You go ahead and get the power slug. I'm oh, there's another one right there. Oh wait, how am I gonna park formally up there? I don't have, I don't have ups yet. Um, eh. do you, can we jump off of each eh. other's heads? Uh, we don't have foundations yet either. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go around. Let's go around. Let's go around. Ooh, there he's. Here we go. I can't. Eh. Ah. Beans. Eh. Hang on. Ah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ow. Did it hurt you? Ow. Oh, but... oh, you made it. Ah. Uh. How? Ah. Uh. Oh wait, I gotta, I gotta. Let me try crouch jumping. Huh? No, it didn't work. Hang on. Uh, no, that didn't work either. How did you get up there? Oh, I, I'm really good at this. You. Ooh. Um, hey, there we go. I got it. All right. Huh? What? 
I don't hear the power slug anymore. Uh, it's around here somewhere. Wait, cool oh, bears. Oh, you went for that one? Alright, cool. I'm gonna go, yep. go for another one. This semi-slug species seems to persist entirely through absorbing and storing energy from its surroundings. Studying Same this could provide slug. new methods for improving fix-exit production line efficiency. Uh, Storing this potential resource for later use. Yeah, eventually. Hold on, if I'm gonna do want. something super dangerous. Here we go. How are you doing? Don't mind me, just going for a slug. Ow. Oh. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, ow. I got a blue one. I got oh. a blue one as well. I almost touched the pancake. Oh, this one's big. Jesus. There's a lot of iron over here. We 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 picked the right spot to start. Uh, are there any Summers Loops or Mercer Spheres nearby? That's where the 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 good Eldritch Horror comes from. I'm losing my life. Woo -woo. Hey, we got our first organic Wii in a while. Hell yeah. You should make more noises. I feel like you don't this make noises. This game has a great anymore. way of making me vocal. Oh, yeah, it's and by great. By great way, I mean I fucking hate this game. <laughs> Ow! Fuck face! It's. Oh, oh. You, were, you were going for a, a box? Yeah, but this thing is trying to kill me. Don't worry. Do Keep distracting it. it. I'll take care of the box. Ow! You shit! I got some screws actually, some reinforced iron out. plates and some copper sheets. It's actually gonna kill me! Chris, it's gonna kill me! It's gonna kill me! Chris! Chris. Literally no cost to dying. <laughs> Alright, we got the hard drive. Yes. Damaged Ow. hard drive successfully Just dodge and slash. All pioneers are contractually obliged to preserve and secure any recovered hard drives for future yeah, analysis, which result in benefits oh, it's to a big the Fixit mission. Yes, it's a Speculation big one. It's as to why there are crashed freighters alpha. in your Fixit designated zone is discouraged as specified in your contract. Woo! <laughs> oh, it, it fell to its death. Its death? Yeah. It's, it's not dead. dead. It's, 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 dead? Okay. it's making its way around. It's coming back for you. Hello. Oh my, these, this is bad. Yeah, let's kill it together. Ah. Okay. The uh, the enemy AI got upgraded in update eight. So uh, yeah, this this was. Uh... There we go. We got it. It's dead. I know. Okay. Down I go. That was for my benefit, not ours. Ow. Is there a cave over there? Hey, look. There is. Oh, what? It's a doggo. Oh, see if you can befriend it. How do I befriend it? Uh, you gotta get some pale berries. Stop petting oh, it. I hate the That's a, a non-consensual pet. You, you get, uh, basically, you got to bribe them with pale berries. That's that's how you make friends with them. Uh, I've, I've got to go find some more pale berries then. Yeah. And also, uh, the stuff is not done. Huh? <laughs> Pretty close. Oh wait, that, I, we don't need iron plates anymore. Uh, we need the rods. What did I call the big things, the big bloaty things on long legs? I forgot what I uh, called them. Oh, did you call them Jerry's? I don't know. Did I it call them Jerry's? It was something like that. It was something like that. I thought it was like with that. a B. I didn't call them Boffins, did I? No, I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember. I'm going to check the status of the bioburners. We can go look for more power slugs or whatever. They're still going strong. Oh yeah, they are. I'm just topping them off. Oh hey, I've got modular frames. That's nice. Uh, here I'm gonna toss. Yeah, I, 
the spare iron ore I have into the uh, machines, because... Oh, I've wait, noticed no, that the, there's no power... There's not a lot of power balance between these ones, so these two are doing 6. six point six seven per minute. This one's doing 10 per minute. Yeah, the so big one has a, has a high, higher max output, that's why. Okay. Yeah, it's 20 versus 30. So it just has... It just does a higher percentage of the total. Uh, oh, I'm gonna drop off some more stuff. Put it in here. That, that, that. Uh, oh, wait, no, that's my inventory. That's the hub. Uh, this one, this one, this one, this one. Yeah. Also, we don't need the copper rest sheets. Oh, good. You can access the storage box at the same time I can now. At the, yep. at the same time as me. Now. That's good. I'm going to throw some extra biomass in there. Actually, I'm going to convert the rest of this. Here, I'm going to switch milestones for a second and throw some stuff into, into another milestone. Okay. We can do that? Yeah. I forgot about that. Oh, the concrete's been super slow. Unless you just took some out of it. Nope. Oh, okay. I've got 58 in my pocket, but that was from earlier. Concrete. Okay, cool. Uh, field research. Screws. Plates. Oh, we're not automating screws yet, are we? No, that would require... I mean, I can set up another thing for it. No, don't really bother. We need, we need rods. That's, that's kind of what we're waiting on right now, so it's not worth automate or t taking anything out of it yet. That's fair. I mean, I could set it up ahead of time, so that, and I'll just have it turned oh, off. Oh, like yeah, you could. That, that's honestly the smart thing. Instead of us going and exploring right now, we should like set up our future uh, factories. Okay. Let me finish converting this biomass over, and then I'll get started on that. I just I need to get some stuff to do with it, though. Okie doke. Uh, is there like a chest we can make? Like an extra chest? Yep. We'll, we'll get that option very soon. One of the unlocks okay. that we are aiming for. Okay, cool. In that case, I'm just going to throw the excess biomass I have into the chest once it's done converting. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we're approaching logistics. Hell yeah. That'll be useful. It will be. Uh, okay. Almost there for that. I bet you we have enough iron rods now. Uh, I missed the ability to y y hit my jetpack. It's a massive error. Soon. And by soon, I mean, like, in, like, 12 hours. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's, it's just, like, I gotta, I gotta stop comparing this game to Factorio. It's, it's not, it's not healthy. Uh, but the, uh, it, it feels just like when you, like, start a new save in Factorio and you just, like, move, like, glacially slow by comparison. Oh, All right. yeah. Uh, you want to push the red button? Sure, let's do it. Milestone reached. Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to save space and enhance the productivity of the factory. Do we want to factory. start base building or, or get research It encourages you to consider investing in verticality when it comes to factory logistics. If you feel stressed by this complexity, imagine yourself on the shore of a vast and calm ocean. <laughs> Breathe in. Visualize all the people relying on you. The sea is made of billions of faces, each staring at you with hope and tears in their eyes. Breathe out. Feel refreshed and focused on your duties. <laughs> Boy, this game's evil. Have you ever felt more relaxed? No. Um, <laughs> no, I have not. Do we want to do field research or base building? Uh, base building should be next, I think. Um, they do t require different things, though. Um, I guess our bottleneck is going to be the um, the rods, though. Uh, what does field research give us? Oh, it gives us map. Right, we get map super early in, in, uh, now. We used to, it used to take a while to get the map. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll do base building first, and then we'll do the field research after okay. that. Oh, our power is great. I told you building that extra biomass burner was a smart idea. I don't... 
think I, I, I disputed you. I thought you gave me some resistance. I, I think you think I'm always giving you resistance. You always are giving me resistance, Chris. You know what? That, that's up to interpretation. Since it's going to take a while for our rods to build back up, I'm just going to hammer out the rods myself. Oh, okay. Well, we've got two minutes until we can actually send up the next pod, so... That's going to give me time to make the, the oh, rods I need. Mercer Sphere located. Oh. Actually, I, oh, we don't have the map yet. Otherwise, I, I'd mark it on the map. Are you going to grab it? Oh, wait. No, I can mark it on the map. Hang on. Uh, What are we going to mark this as? Uh, here, I'll mark it as this. I'll put a stamp. Where do you see it? It's up there. Oh. Yeah. Huh. How the hell are we going to get up there? Uh, when we get foundations, we can probably just climb or like build a platform up there. Provided they didn't patch it. What do you mean? Like if they changed how the foundations work and such? No, it's all the same. Okay. Confident about that. I read the patch notes. One of my favorite pastimes is reading patch notes. Uh, I'm I'm just getting I'm getting into that like thing where I, I instead of like building new stuff I'm just parkouring until the until stuff finishes. I do that ex you know you know that I do that exact same thing. It's just the fucking, yeah. The, gotta stop doing that. Uh, we can start doing splitters, so we can start uh, increasing our, our throughput on our iron lines. Okay. So let's do that. Uh, I'm hammering out the iron ingots right now, so yeah, let me... Oh, wait. Oh, uh, the uh, pod's almost back. Let me see if I can take care of the next milestone. Uh, I've got 79 rods. Okay. I'll, I can fill the rest of it. Go throw the rods in there. I just burned my face off. Right. Rods. Did we get anything else? No, we didn't. Okay. Away it goes! Milestone reached. Several new structures are now available for improving factory organization. Foundations provide a building grid, which makes it easier to manage placement of any structure. In the event that you are experiencing amnesia for all events prior to planetfall, um. Be reassured that memories of beloved humans and or animals would have only been distractions from your important mission. Hey, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so each of these iron, each of these iron producers make 120 per minute. Yeah, because they're they're uh, full pure. This is like a really good location for iron. There's more iron over there too, like like over there. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's a ton of iron here. How are we gonna squish this together? Uh, let's start dropping foundations. Okay. Uh, and, and then we, we can we can start building vertically. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, let's start. Let's do it. Do we want to uh, do it the way we did it before? Uh, what do you mean? You remember how we did it before when we did like these like the little buildings? And then yeah. we just move it between the floors, like we're using elevators and such. Yeah, I, th I think that's still like the most optimal way to do it. Um, do we have elevators? We do have conveyor lifts now, yeah. Yeah. We do it. Yeah, they, they made it way easier to like get all the things that you really want. It's all okay. in like fewer milestones than, than it used to be. Um, I'm, gonna take, I'm gonna pull 100 plates out. I'm gonna get started on this. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, we need to start. Can I out. snap to a oh, hold left control? Okay. It's a shame we. It's a there shame we have to pick everything up and put it on top of the foundations. Uh, yeah, but it'll only be a, a minor inconvenience. Um, so something to something to be be mindful of with foundations. I I think it'd be nice if we if we snapped to the world grid. 
Um, okay. just, just so that, 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 like, if we do that everywhere, then if we ever need to, like, build between them with, like, foundations, they'll line up perfectly. Um, okay. All, all, all you have to do to do that is just hold control and uh, while building a foundation, and it'll snap to the world grid. Okay. You just need to build, like, one, and then you can just snap to that one once it's snapped to the world grid. Um... Okay. Is there an uh, easy way to pick something up? Like pick up a fan pick up a structure that's already there? Uh no, it's just disassemble, reassemble. Okay. There's there's no resources lost though, so it's like it's a pure one to one. Okay. Uh oh also if you hold control you can dismantle multiple things at once. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Uh okay, one more So that's all the plates that we need. Uh, I'm gonna grab some stuff out of this before you dismantle it. Okay, and then we'll grab some wire as well. Oh, good, we almost have enough wire already. For what? Oh, for the next milestone. Oh, cool. And uh, make some screws. While we do that, uh, <laughs> what state or country do you never want to go back to? Oh God, this is actually because I've been to quite a few states now. Uh, um, Florida. I think France is my answer, though. There's a few states that I'm not super happy about either. But like, wait, you don't want to go back to Florida? Nah, not, not again. Does Disney World count as part of Florida? Yes. Damn. I'm not really that much of a Disney girl, honestly. Like, if I want to, if I really want to go somewhere, because I don't think I'm ever going to have kids, so the immediate idea of going to like a big theme park is just sort of lost on me. Wait, but really? Just a little, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, you Have you ever been there without parental supervision? No, never. Except okay. for the time where I was with you. What? We went. To, well, we didn't go to a theme park, but we went. We went to places that would consider kind of theme park at Yeah. Like the like the like the the place that had like the Ferris wheel. Was it Ferris wheel? Oh, oh, yeah. Niagara Falls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the, yeah. We went to that that big place. Yeah. Yeah, but like that wasn't that wasn't a theme park. I'll, also, I'll, I, I gotta, I gotta tell you, and if you, if you ever get the chance to go to like that sort of place with autonomy, it's a much funner experience. I've got a big storage container. It's full of biomass. It's feeding into this one, so we're good. Hell yeah! Look at all that biome ass. What did you call it? What? What? I'm, I'm anyway, just saying, I'm just saying it's thick. Now that I have solved that problem, uh, let's see here. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the la this next uh, milestone. Uh, I, I'm curious if we want to like just like full pause everything and at, at that point and uh, do the. Um, let's see, what's tier yeah, two? Though? What's tier two? Let's let's take a look. Hold on. Milestone reached. Supply uh, the molecular analysis machine referred to as the MAM with local resources to research and develop new technologies. Jump pads are largely Potential pointless. technologies include exploration tools, weapons, and factory Resource buildings. Sink. These are essential for maximizing your pioneer logistics efficiency and alignment with too. its core pillars. Construct equipment, sync will be nice because that'll allow us to, to unlock the, like, its mission, the nice looking all stuff like uh, resources, uh, technology, holes, or other influence should be stuff. investigated yeah, regardless we, of any perceived really danger, that over as stated mark in the Pioneer contract. Uh, well, Logistics Mark II will be useful because that'll give us the full capability of, of our uh, miners. Exactly. Um, so that's one, and then part assembly is another one that, that we're going to want to focus on. And then after that, I think resource sync. So yeah, let's start with Logistics Mark II. It's our next one. Um, but for now, let's get stuff more organized. Let's pull the let's pull the plug on the power. Uh, no, we don't, don't leave everything else running. Just focus on one section at a time. Okay. Shall we start on the iron then, or do you want to move on to your? Yeah, to iron stuff? iron's the most critical. Okay. Uh, let's let's fold this assemble here. 
Actually, do we even have enough resources to like, for in iron to like do what we want to do? I'm sure we do. I've got plenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's let's uh, let's start disassembling. Already, already on it, chief. Okay. Uh, we could toss foundations underneath the uh, miners too. I think. We can. Yeah. But don't they need to be digging into the ground? Ah, uh, they can go through the foundations. Oh, we got personal storage boxes available, by the way, if you wanted to toss one of those down. I might. Let's let's do this first, and then I'll toss one down. Okay. Uh, let's see. So there's the world grid. The foundation. Okay. Uh, I'm using a two meter one right now. Uh, does it change? And you hold control to to, to snap it to the to the world grid, right? Yeah. The height is not critical. It's in, it's just the uh, the X and Y. And then we should be able to put a miner down. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Oh, Penelope. Oh. What? It wasn't lined yeah. up with the foundation line. There we go. Ah, oh, that's better. Hell yeah. Okay, let's get this started. Okay. Um. Let's get this started. Hot. Let's get this started. Yeah. No? Nobody? Okay, run in and run in, run in and run in. <laughs> hey, there we go. That that song was one, was like the one of the only songs that played in the um, in this one like Sims DS game that I had. I bet it was Herbs. Sims it was. Sims. It was Sims Herbs. You're right. I did, couldn't remember the the subtitle. I I played so much Herbs Sims in the city. I played the one on the GameCube, not the one on the DS. Oh, was it GameCube? GameCube? It might have been GameCube. I don't. Yeah, there was. I, I just I just know that that game was very fucking basic compared to the like actual. Uh, computer Sims game. I loved. Uh, so, Herbs and Sims Bustin' Out are my favorite Sims games of all time, and there is no contest. I love oh, yeah. those games so dearly. And the that. reason I love them isn't because they're way more complicated as compared to, say, like Sims 4 or something, but it's just so good. Like, it's just so fun. That's wild. I, I had a, I didn't have a great experience with those games, if I'm being honest. It's, okay, it's not for everyone, for sure. It's just, no. it, when I, I remember when I played them, it was just magnificent. Oh, well, that's cool. Do we want to connect these with ramps to those down there, or do we want to make, like, a whole thing? No, 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 no. Here, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Um, we're going to make a two-tier structure. Uh, so, two floors. Uh, this okay. miner is, is going to cover the, so, uh, this miner is the bottom floor. That miner's uh, the top floor. Got it. Okay. I, th I I think that'll look really nice. Okay. Uh. Let's see. How do we want this? Okay, so it's it's currently only going to be producing sixty because of our conveyor belt limitation, but we should plan for one twenty. So one twenty. Uh, we could we could keep it the way you had it before. So the the bottom floor is going to be all iron plates. The top floor is going to be all the rods. Um, we because we I don't think we have a really real balancing issue between the two yet. So, how, how many plates does a constructor? Okay, so he uses thirty iron ingots. Oh wait, we need to do smelting first. Yep. Right, right, right. I feel like this foundation might be a slightly too low because this floor over here is probably gonna get a bit tight. We can um, let's raise it up. Let's raise it up then. I'll just I'll do the manual raising. Yeah, raise it slightly. That works. Oh geez, not that much. It'll be hard for us to get on top of it until we have like jetpacks and stuff. True. So we don't want it too high. Okay. That's, I think that's good. Uh, we'll add a ramp. Uh, oh, you, uh, there's, there is no resource benefit to using narrower foundations, so, like, to avoid these gaps underneath, just go with the fold height ones. Oh, okay. 
Give me a second. They all cost the same resources. Foundations for... Actually, get rid Don't forget, if you hit R while, with with the uh, foundations, you can turn change it to zoop mode, and you can make multiple at a time. God, I forgot about that. Yeah, okay. it was literally the best feature to come out of updates. Uh, eh, one of the updates. All right. So first things first, we gotta manage a huge splitter. So this is. Uh, we'll we'll just so. Terminology time. Uh, there are two types of splitter arrangements. There is what's called a manifold arrangement, and there is a like balanced arrangement. So a, a manifold arrangement is basically where uh, it it comes into one splitter, it splits to a machine, and then another splitter. It splits to a machine, and then another splitter. So like it's they're all in a line, right? Yeah. And whereas a balanced splitter is it goes to one splitter, which then uh, splits three ways into like three splitters, which then splits into like more splitters, and it's more of like a tree. The manifold is the most space efficient, and there's no real benefit to having a balanced setup, except in certain circumstances. So a manifold is going to be probably the way we go for most circumstances. Okay. Which means we can just kind of line everything up. Uh, in one. Uh, I don't actually think this is where we want this first one to be, by the way. I'm just putting that out, down as, as an example, I think. For visual reasons. We um, should put it closer. Let's then. figure out where our... our so we're going to do smelters first, right? Um, uh, if we want it, like, nice and lined up with the foundations. Uh, I mean, that'll probably work. Do we want the splitter on this platform, or do we want it as close to the to the miner as we can? No, we're gonna put it on the platform. The splitters will, will okay. go in front of the smelters, basically. So, smelter one. Three, four. That should cover 120, I think. Yeah. yeah. 30 per minute That's each. That's because it's 30. Mm. And then do you want one in front of each, or do you want one, just one, and then we'll... One in front of each. Spaghetti. Got it. Just because we can only split three ways, so we'll, we'll need we'll need multiple splitters anyway. Um, make sure you give yourself enough room to actually put a conveyor belt between the splitter and the machine. Yeah. And uh, to make it easier on yourself, while you're in, while you have the hologram out, hold or press H, and it'll lock it. And then you can use the arrow keys to like nudge it. Yeah, we're good on this one. Uh, it could be a little bit closer, but that's fine. And then on the output, we'll have a bunch of... Well, I guess the constructors take 30 each, too. So we can just kind of do it one-to-one. -one. Hang on, we might change the spacing here, then. Because if we can just line them up directly with the constructors, which are slightly wider, then we don't need to, like, have splitters on the other side. Okay. Uh, let's... Let's do it... I kind of want to leave space for, like, walls, I think. I feel like that'll be nice. But these things are, like, one foundation wide, so I think we got to line it up with the seam. Yeah. And then, so... Oh, I'm, I'm out of uh, cable. Oh, you're, you're a little bit. Yeah, you're roboting, too. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can a little bit. Uh, is it my end or... Uh, yeah, check to see if one of us is dropping packets or I can do it. Yeah, yeah, I can check. Hang on. Uh, oh, yeah, no, the, the, the Discord connection is very poor right now. Yeah, give me a second. I'm losing packets and I think so are you. Yeah, we're both losing packets. I don't think it's it's our problem because we're, we're losing packets at the same rate. It's a, uh, it's probably a Discord problem. Yeah, it's a Discord problem. Give me a second. I'm getting a lot of let's see for some reason. Everything else seems to be working fine. Yeah, it is. So it's it's just Discord. It's, it's a Discord server issue. I don't think we can actually fix it. It'll probably okay. clear itself up in a second. Which I think it just did. Yep, there it goes. 
Okay. Yep, sorry uh, about that, everybody. Uh, everyone understands. It's Discord things. It just just Discord things. Fucking oh, teenager. I see what you're doing. It's the widest part first, and then we'll do it like. Okay, I see. How you're yeah, and then just line them each one up with with its own thing. Spelter. The way we might have done this before uh, was we we would have had like dedicated buildings for each process, but I feel like this is going to be just way easier and it'll look nicer too. So this building will pr this floor will produce iron plates. We won't ever change it to produce anything else. Can you go grab me some copper wire? I actually might have some of those myself. For, uh, okay, I can I'll go get a refill then. Biomass burners are still going strong. We'll see. We'll be. We'll be. We'll be. I think it's control C. Control B. 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 Cool. And then we need our manifold. Uh, here is good. Okay, so now is the time when you want to use uh, your change your conveyor belt to straight mode. Oh, hang on. It might not actually matter. How do uh, uh, tap R. R? Uh, wow, that is like not happy with that current location. Okay, hang on. We got, we got to do a bit of uh, funkiness with the foundations then. Okay. Let me, let me throw a, uh, a ramp down. Just to make it look super, look super neat. Hell yeah. And now you, what you're going to have to do is you're probably going to have to um, have like an, have an intermediate uh, post. I'm going to move what? it a little to the right. You'll, you'll make I'm it a little I, I believe yeah. I, I, I trust you. Fuck yes. Every feature that they add that, that that makes our lives easier or makes things just look nicer, so good. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. Oh, uh, you're putting them right in front of the inputs and outputs. Oops. <laughs> uh, also, those poles minutes. only have four outputs and they two of them are gonna be needed to like connect to other poles, which I guess it's fine if you like put them in the center of the of between the smelter and the constructor. Yeah, that should That's work. That's the plan. Ah, stuck. The easiest way to get around uh, conveyor belts is to slide under them. And then I think we'll kind of we'll basically reproduce this on the top floor as well, but it'll have a slightly different layout because of the different ratios. Uh, okay, so now let's put another ramp down. Is the chat having a chill time? Did I have to ask it ask it that way? No, I didn't. Will you ask it again? Most indubitably. Can you stop me? Absolutely not. Stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a fun. I fucked this. How did I fuck this? What'd you do? I'm. Um, Gosh. I did. The, it's the wire. It's the wire arrangement. Okay, so the so this one. Okay, hang on. I'll do this this way. So don't Just get confused. Just barely out of rod. Oh. What? I'm out of rods. I'm gonna make some more. There. I suspect that all of chat has fallen asleep. Possibly. That does tend to happen sometimes. Like a okay. massage therapist, I will take it as a compliment. Oh, uh, 
look at it all moving. Oh wait, all of it's not moving. Yeah, because oh, because resources are are, are, are are percolating. It's the official term. Uh, we actually want to cut this bear belt for now because it, it can only support two lines at the moment. Ooh, my game just got super laggy. <laughs> that was unfortunate. Well, we want. We only want to do two. Uh, we can't do more. Why not? Because the conveyor belts are a limiting factor. It can only move 60 at a time. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so we can we'll only just, pull we'll 60 out of the uh, miners at a time right now. In that case, I'm going to cut the power between them, and then we'll just have this infrastructure ready. Uh, they don't pull it. They don't take any power if it, when they're not running, so it, it's not harmful to have the power connected. We just leave the conveyor belt disconnected. No, no, it's cool. What do you mean it's cool? I shut down the power. All right. Well, hopefully they don't forget it about it later. Um, all right, all right. You you pulled my arm, I set it back up. Twisted my arm. You twisted Gave me the my old coccyx. twist. I was gonna make a joke similar to that one that was much dirtier, but <laughs> you, uh, you found it. You found the joke. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks. So I, I tried joining this, like, um, basically there's this website that is specifically designed to, like, connect um, content creators with, uh, with like, game, game companies and stuff so that, so that they can get, like, free copies of the game and, and things like that, basically, like, for sponsorships. Uh, okay. And Satisfactory, like uh, uh, before 1.0, like threw out a, a thing on their social media, like, hey, if you want, if you're a social media, or if you're an influencer of some kind, or a streamer, or whatever, and you, you know, want early access to the game, um, you know, you know, uh, get it, uh, check it out here. I was like, okay, so I like went on the website, and they were, and they were like, uh, you need to make an account. And I was like, all right, I'll make an account. Uh, I mean, this is probably useful, and you know, if, if I don't like it, I can just delete the account later. And then I was like, okay, now you gotta connect your uh, your channels. And I was like, okay. Um, so I connected our channels, and they were like, uh, your two, your YouTube doesn't have enough, uh, you know, d d followers or whatever. It doesn't have enough re uh, enough views. So, uh, uh, but you're, we're gonna process your Twitch, and so we'll we'll get back to you. And I I, I checked back like the next day. After we had streamed once, and, and it was like, ah, oh, yeah, no, your your Twitch doesn't isn't eligible. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck. All right, whatever. And so I was like, Damn. so I was like, all right, I'll just close the account. And uh, and and then it was like, uh, yeah, if you close your account, uh, you will never be allowed to use our service again. I was like, um, what? Oh, that's like, weird. Okay, what? <laughs> Yeah, no. I mean, your channels. You know, if you close your account, we won't. You won't be allowed to use your channels on our service. And I was like, "Well, that's scummy as fuck." Yeah, that is actually pretty scummy. Um, and so I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna try and work my way around this." What I'll do is, what, what I tried to do is, I was like, "All right, I'll just disconnect my the channels first, and then close the account." And so I disconnected the channels, and they were like, "Uh, yeah, you can't access your settings unless you have a channel connected." And I was like, "Oh." That's pretty evil of them. All right, well, fuck you. I'll just leave my account open, but with no c channels connected then. Just fuck off. Because it, it is yeah, good. Does like, everyone remember how we um, we said there was no sponsorship at the start of this video? Well, you have an anti-sponsorship. Well, yeah, fuck those fuck guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, we won't say their name because we don't want them to get any, uh, any sort of airtime. Uh, I see that you're throwing down walls. Oh, hell yeah. This is nice. Yeah, uh, I'm just trying to... Try to be minimal on the walls right now. They, they do take iron on, like, the foundations, so we don't want to go overboard when we still are working out our iron production. Iron takes... Found uh, foundations take iron. Do they? What yes. They take oh, iron. Oh, they do. Oh, oh, it's different types of foundations take different materials, and I'm used to using ones that only take concrete. That's why. Okay, never mind. Uh, those are something we have to unlock later. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, still, we w we want to limit the amount of iron we're using at the moment. Um, Do you think this is uh, this is good enough? 
for the uh, for height? Uh, the wall. Yeah. Uh, I think two should be sufficient. No, we need three. The, the smelters are higher than two. So go um, go three, and then we'll put a thin layer on top of them, so that it's not it's not like a full three. Yeah. Can't wait until we have doors. We can make this look real fancy. Hell yeah. Honestly, I I, I sort of. I'm kind of, I'm conflicted between putting up walls and like hiding all the factory and like using windows and stuff to like make make it super you know artistic and reveal what's inside you know yeah we'll we we'll, we'll get to there for sure we will we will we will we will okay okay uh seriously don't go overboard on the walls we don't need that many walls that's too late I've gone overboard on the walls god damn it the walls I'm out of concrete they're overboard. Uh, the good news is, is that I have 212 uh, plates, so that's not a problem. Oh. Well, all right. We have another 200 in the box, too, so we're good. We just need more concrete. Oh, ad starting in a little bit, guys. Uh, reminder, if you're not subscribed or don't have Twitch Turbo, you're going to see some ads for three minutes. We're not going to pause the game, but, uh, I mean, you're not missing terribly much. If you don't want to see ads... I recommend doing something that makes you not see ads, like, I don't know, subscribing? <laughs> oh, you know what? I, I get to do something I haven't done in ages. Oh, yeah? And as a reminder, everybody, YouTube has a random bug that unsubscribes no! people. You can make sure you subscribe. <laughs> yes! I got to do it again! It's like, it's like classic fantasy sauce all over again. You bitch! Yes! <laughs> uh, I'm so sensitive in, to that sort of shit because of my job. In the, your um, draconic snout. <laughs> wow. All right then. Also, it's a snoot. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that culturally insensitive? Oh, I'm under the conveyor belt. Ah. Oh no. Okay, oh, yeah, it was fine. Okay. Okay. We You're not still putting up walls. Yes. You also put an extra foundation. Actually, that might have been me. I was putting up foundations. I don't know which of us put that was. Oh, we don't have we don't have ladders or stairs yet. Oh, this is gonna suck. Maybe we shouldn't do this. No, we should. <laughs> maybe we, maybe we should like just run this uh, as other one to these two that we have here, and no, just start using those to make. We're future proof. We'll we're future proof. Yeah, don't worry about it. We're well, yeah, we'll, we'll build the second floor, I'm sure. But what I'm saying is, like, we can't get up there. Yeah, we so can. Maybe we, we build should. a ramp. See, look. Oh, I see. See, look, I'm building a ramp. I don't have that any concrete. I noticed I our concrete, concrete block was empty. I wonder who may have taken got, all got, of those. Got, come here. I've got concrete. Oh, no, no, it's Third. fine. I'll just grab the 19 out of the box. Are you doing ramp two meters or ramp four meters? Uh, two meters. It's a bit. It's a bit more gradual. Four meters is okay. only for like drastic situations, typically. Should line up quite nicely. Oh no, we need a one meter ramp. Gross. Is there a one meter ramp? There, there is. is. That's this, amazing. This is gross. Have, transitioning from one ramp type to another. Ew. What is this halo? You know what? Hang on, hang on. We can we can make this we can make this work. Hang on, I'm gonna take a uh, take one of these and then we're gonna replace. Are we all... actually? No, because then the walls aren't gonna line up because the walls are 12 meters high and you're doing a 13 meter floor. But will it look bad? I don't think it'll look bad. It will look bad. Look. Yeah, let's, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna give it a try. It's gonna look like the floor is sticking out of the ceiling. Oh well. Are you doing two meter? Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, never yeah. mind. You're smart. I like that. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. You realize these ramps are going like as soon as we get ladders and stairs, right? Like this. Is... Well, no, the ramps are gonna stay because that's where the conveyor belts are going up. But we'll get ladders and stairs so we don't have to use the ramps. You know? I suppose that's fair. Sleek, I like it. Thanks. I'm known for my sleekness.
I'm gonna have to run an extra powerful connection up here. Oh, oh no. Oh, hang on. Uh, this is fine. It'll just S Ben back for a, a moment here. And then it goes. You want oh, the splitter yeah. right there? Look at that. No, that, that's just where it's. That's just where I wanted like the the ramp to kind of like smoothly transition. Now, now it's good. It's good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's good. In fact, we should probably. Hang on, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go OCD for a second. Hang on. Ah, what just happened. That was weird. What are you doing? It's fine. Don't worry about it. I am worried now. What did I just say. Oh, I'm missing cable. Fuck. Uh, there we go. That's a little bit better. Oh, uh, we really need to unlock like more ra more con ramp types and stuff. This is gross. Yeah, I'm gonna go top up the the biomass burners again. Okay, dokie. Okay. Uh, give me a second. Uh, I mean, if you just like add a couple more of those biomass burners that actually like allow you to put conveyor belts into them, you you don't have to do it. I know, but then I have to build another biomass burner, and that's gonna be ass. Okay. Speaking of which, we're only we're down to like six or seven stacks of it, so that's fun. Yeah, we go. Okay, so for this floor, we're doing iron rods, which is oh god, we're gonna need double the number of constructors. Okay. For the crews too, yeah. Well, no, the iron rods take in uh, their half speed. Oh shit! Yeah, same same number of smelters though, so we can we can do that. Uh, here I'll do. We need the splitter. I'll get the splitter stuff. Uh, well, I'll I'll drop the smelters and then the, the splitters can just go in front of those. Oh, I'm I need cable. Oh. Out of rods. Here, take my ninety-one rods. Here you go. Ow, actually, no. Ow, okay, so, owie, uh, my bones. Okay, so that's those four there. Those are running iron. You're allergic to ads, Smudge? I'm allergic to cola nuts, personally, but ads are a pretty good allergic reaction to have, honestly. Like, where you just like, ugh. Geico? Uh, you know what? Okay, actually, this is the perfect time to get on my platform that I have. You're all my listeners. Oh, no. I get to fucking talk about this today. Uh, I despise the Liberty Mutual ads. Oh, I okay. despise them. <laughs> they are awful. I hate Liberty Mutual. <laughs> okay. So, because they are... F yeah, I called out the name of the company. I'm so sorry, Chris. I don't know. No, it's fine. It's fine. You, you, can, you can call them out. They have the most annoying jingle. They have the most annoying setup for their ads. It's always one of two setups where they've taught something that shouldn't... No, please don't play Liberty ads when you come visit. Oh, yeah. As much as visiting me in October, by the way, everybody, oh, nice. um, which I'm super excited for. Um, but yeah, no. They will do, there's two types of ads they have, where they'll have one where they will teach the jingle to something, and they the, they just know the jingle. Uh, like, they'll teach it to a baby or something, and the baby's first words is liberty or something. Uh. And that's annoying. I hate that. That's gross as fuck. The yeah. second type is when they have this sort of dramatized thing with a guy and an emu, and those are just, those are more bearable, but still annoying. And I just have to sit there and pretend like life is okay every time that one appears, like one of those ads appear. And I don't want to do it anymore. Yikes. Um, honestly, it's the biggest of Geikers. Also, I don't have any poles. Do you have more poles? <laughs> hey, rods. Yeah. yeah, I do. You do? Cool, I need some. There you go. Thanks. Okay. Are you gonna make a pole joke 
Was that was that where that was going? That laughter? No, of course not. Okay, go. But if I did. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> it. I definitely would. Uh, I'm not gonna have a place for put my power. Shit, pole out of cable. Now. Yeah! I've got cable. Cable. It's all good. Got more cable. We're missing a wall right here. It's all right. I got it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do this power pole setup now. Uh, what do you mean? I guess I'll do it like that. Um, nothing. I was just trying to figure out how to to lay out the power poles without them looking like ass. Uh. -huh. See, yeah, it's something I'm very, very uh, cautious about is power production looking like ass. And that's, then no matter what, that's always going to What's stay it? in my bones. Yeah, wasn't that something that I, like, got super mad at you about last time? Yes, because you didn't give a shit about the, how nice they look. And I was like, you shit, like, well, they no, need to look nice. <laughs> the weird thing was, is it was like, you were, you were doing it really awfully, and I was like, uh... Can we do these nicer? And then you started doing them nicely, and then you got mad at me for not noticing when when it improved. Yeah, I did. Cause you did like you never knows that I, when I do nice. You always know when I do bad. It's a it's it's a flaw of mine. I'm 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 overly critical and not not very good at at compliments. Now, what I'm what I'm envisioning here, in my my vision, is uh, we toss uh, merger uh, right here, and then in front of each of these. We get another set of constructors on the other side. There. Ah, oh, no. We don't, I don't think we're going to have quite enough room. Up. Up. That's too much power. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, give me a second. That was that sound will haunt all of our dreams. As the game gets more and more progressing, like we get deeper into it, that sound is worse every time. Yeah. Because uh, some like some like power setups need power in order to get started, and so uh, if if we if we blow a fuse and we don't catch it fast enough, it could mean that like the uh, the system just like fully goes down, and it, and it takes a while to get it back up. It's like an actual production line. Yeah, kinda. Yep. Hang on. Just. Ah! Almost done. Ah, I don't give that much of a shot. Good to know. <laughs> No, 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 I mean, not to you, silly. I was just referring to you. I would How have dare you use the S word on me? Oh. Hang on. I just disconnected this too. Actually, I've got to redo this power now too. Great. You're just there. Shit. Can I make this somehow a little bit neater? There's got to be a way. Yeah, like that. And then I'm going to back this up. Okay. Oh, we don't have stackable conveyor poles yet. Oh, no. Yeah, we don't. Uh, We're, we're going to get them real soon, though. Probably. Sorry, power should be up in a second. Just That's fixing fine. something. That's fine. Doing okay. Don't worry about it. It's giving me plenty of time to uh, do things, I guess. Ah. I'm 
doing some advanced belt weaving. I'm pretty sure that was a class offered in, in gender studies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm selling myself out. Oh no. <laughs> Gosh, there's a lot of studies that could offer that class, actually. Yeah. Some Aboriginal All right. studies. Uh, Give it a second. I'm just going to make sure everything's loaded up properly. Any culture should have some form of belt building. Of course, this is not to be confused with cursed belt weaving. We don't talk about that. Okay, systems online. Everything looks good. We should be solid. I need to... Can you handle some base production for a little bit? I need to get some biomass. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm working on it. Okay. We're gonna have this uh, iron line fully uh, working by the time I'm through with it. Yeah. It's a bit I'm dense. just doing the little leap grabbing right now. This is actually kind of gross, but there's no way for me. There's, there's the one thing about this game that I wish there was, I wish there was like a splitter merger, you know, like one that had two inputs, two outputs. Yeah, that would be really useful. It would be like, so useful, but we don't have them. Well, now that we're in 1.0, maybe there's going to be like mods and shit that'll help. Oh, there'll be mods. Oh yeah. We'll, we'll we'll get mods that'll do shit like that. I really wish I could get the chainsaw, but that's that's one of the other things on this tier, and we need to do logistics mark two first. Yeah. Once we have this this built, we should be able to get logistics mark two. Okay. Okay, I've got about 2,000 leaves. My god. How can you handle so many leaves? I know a giraffe. He's shutting me away. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You gonna? Oh yeah, I was, I was. I thought for a minute we had another comment, but no, it was just somebody's threat. Like Smudge is threatening to play Liberty ads at me. Yep. Invalid conveyor belt shape. I'll show I was you an invalid tier... conveyor belt shape. I was gonna make a tier four sub joke when we, when I brought up that Smudge was visiting me, but I really don't want to send the wrong impression to people. Right. Yeah. Good call. Good call. Yeah. Smudge is visiting me because he's one of my close personal friends, and I really adore him, and I'm really excited to get a chance to meet him. Proud of you. You're learning the uh, the lifestyle. Yep. Hopefully, I've learned it by now. I mean, I've been in a streamer for over a year now. Oh yeah. When was my stream birthday? Uh, it was June. Huh. I think I, we, I think we started streaming together like the beginning of June, 2023. That sounds about right. Because I think I remember I started streaming with you around the same like. It's like a month or two after we started doing DVD together. Hey, Luna. Luna! It's all good. You can lurk. We we appreciate the lurkers. Oh, shit. Hang on. I, fu I fucked up. Hang on. Oh, no! What did you do? There we go. Okay. Sorry, uh, copper production was offline for a little longer than it needed uh, to be. Uh, this might be, this, this is going to be very cursed. Oh, no. Um, hmm. Yeah, wait till you see the biomass burners. It's already cursed down here. Yeah, I, what I meant was that we're going to get some spaghetti ice back. Ooh, yeah, spaghetti. Hope you're having a good, thank you, Luna. We are having a great time. And you know what? You made it better by saying hi. You're a really wonderful part of this community. I'm gonna avoid the spaghetti. I, I can, I can, I can make this work without spaghetti. The spaghetti sometimes is fun. Uh, well, that can be your opinion. 
I see what you mean. What the fuck are you doing up here? What are you actually doing? This Wait a the, minute. This is the most space efficient way with our current equipment to actually manage uh, that number of constructors. So you threaded it over the... No, don't worry. Hold on. I'm, I'm not done yet. I, I, I've got okay. a vision. I'll let you cook. Well, you're on thin ice. <laughs> oh, no. I'm cooking on thin ice. Yeah, that's how you make water soup. What an ideal make place to be soup. cooking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, oh. Ah! Did you damage to you? Yeah! Oh shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought this just moved you around. Oh, uh, thank you for the three months of tier one. Jesus wow, Christ, Luna. But... Hey Luna, you guess you're gonna be subscribed for the next three months. Cheese and rice, bud. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Thank you for the support. You insane, insane puppy. Oh, it's, it's good. Uh, Smudge is just getting the, uh, you know, getting ahead of it. Uh, is that is that like as low as it needs to go? Yeah, it's only like a very little above the ground. Yeah. Okay. It's yeah, that, that's the lowest it'll go without touching the ground. Yeah, there you go. Where do you want this to go? Yeah, you go. Uh, into a box. Okay, I'll just throw a box down then. Uh, yeah. One box, or do you want multiple? Just one. Okay. Here come the rods! Are you ready to accept well, night? Never mind. <laughs> Good call. Good call, you. never get to get ready to accept my rod jokes. You, you never try. That's fair. Uh, okay. Uh, I think. Okay, and let me toss a bowl here. I'm gonna start pulling the resources necessary to start making the reinforced iron plates. Uh, okay. I don't think we're, we want to. Uh, we we can't automate that yet. I know. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna hand make them. Gotcha. Because it's something we can do right now to get logistics mark two, and we can get that knocked out. Cool. Uh, I need concrete. I need the iron rods. The iron rods are still made, and I got plenty of. Plates. Right click. Yep, there we go. I've got plenty of concrete now. There we go. No, no spaghetti. Oh, yeah. It's all super clean. Only a tiny amount of clipping. Only a, only a small fraction of clipping. Yeah. Actually, this is... I'm kind of happy with this. Oh, it's not powered yet. Hang on, I gotta... gotta oh, yeah, power it's powered to it. You know, uh, I almost accidentally used your last name for a second there, and I'm really glad I caught this. I, I may have accidentally dropped it on a stream or two before. So, okay, the rule has now gone in my brain from never, ever, ever, for never, ever say it to if you say it once in your lifetime, it's fine because it's probably already out there. <laughs> yeah, possibly. The, uh, honestly, the biggest, the biggest rule to have is, is not necessarily to never say it. Uh, though, of course, you should never say it. But the important rule is uh, uh, don't make a big deal about it if you do say it. Yeah. Don't that's... draw attention to it. You know, like, if I, if I say my last name, it's Boston. We're just going to totally glaze over it. Oh, fuck, you told me your name's Boston. Fuck. Now they'll know you live at 
fucking one, two, three, Vancouver. Ah, don't worry, Penelope. They, they'll, they'll never know that it's actually Bosco. <sighs> right. <laughs> they'll never right, know it's actually four, five, six, Vancouver. Vancouver way. In Vancouver. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Clean up the look of the, of the base floor here a little bit. I'm happy that that we uh, we've got a, we've got both of our crates on the same floor right now. It'll be super nice. In fact, I'm gonna make them look even nicer. Hang on. Let's Can't wait for the alternative screw recipe. We'll get one day. Oh, four screws. Yeah. Yeah, God. those are the uh, those those are the jam. We we, we once we have the uh, like opportunity to learn them, we're gonna wanna like rush them. The unfortunate thing is, is they fixed the bug where um where you could just like close the dialogue and like reanalyze the hard drive. Oh, they fixed that. Fuck. Yeah. So we're gonna kind of have to do it the hard way. Which oh, might might be rough. Uh, though I hear that they've also um, like they made they made all the recipes a bit more useful, is what I hear. Oh, okay. So we might not actually have to worry as much about that. Maybe. Hey, is um is everything okay up in the in the pipe production? Yep, I just I just finished connecting it all up. It's all good. Oh, okay. I see him coming down now. You guys. Yep. Ah. Oh! Fine. <laughs> okay. Are you sure? Yeah, it just fell. It's fine. Uh, here. You want, you want, I put some pipes mm, in there if you zip, want zip, zip. Oh, uh... I mean, the pipes aren't the problem. I need the plates. Oh, yeah. Fuck. I don't have anything to drink. Um, oh, no! Uh, Here's some plates. I'm gonna... Well, thank you. I'll take that. And then... I guess I'll take what rods we have left. We have one. I'll just go for them. Cool. Look at this! It's such a nice little factory we have here now. Uh huh. We almost have logistics mark too. Bitchin'. Zoop all the walls up. Zoop in the walls, zoop in the walls. Da, 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 da. So you have 10 stacks of biomass. And oh, we have an 11th partial stack, so we're cool. good on that. Stack is 20 minutes. 20 minutes times 10 is 200 minutes. So this factory could run for about three hours. And three hours and 20 minutes, I think. Nice. Uh, on the current fuel. That's only that's if these two biomass burners are sufficient enough to run. But that, that's not considering the two individual biomass burners we also have. Hell yeah. Do we know which which um um we think we're going for after we finish getting uh, logistics? Do we uh, want to do the one where it gets us? The biofuel. Uh, do, 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 do. After, so after logistics is uh -huh. part assembly, and then we're going to go resource sink, I think. Maybe obstacle clearing. I'm not quite sure. I, I don't think we'll be we'll have enough like to get enough coupons for the good shit, but I think the resource sink I one would like should. obstacle clearing. Okay, Personally then we'll do that speaking, one next. Just so that way, yeah, because that way we can do the biomass. For, I, can, I can spend less time doing that and more time doing... The, the game and not this leaf collecting bullshit I'm on right now. Fair. Of 
breaking the law, breaking the law. So, so. <laughs> regular no, regular no. So, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, you're underwater. Huh? Strange. Oh no! It's my side. Hang on one second. Oh yo! Yeah. It's the it's the voice meter. Give me give me a second. Uh, menu. Please don't say something. Oh, test test. Oh, thank God! Oh, it didn't yeah. blow up my it didn't blow up my fucking eardrums. Oh, Sometimes when I reset it, it'll start blasting static in my ears. Oh yikes! Yeah, it's not fun. It's like it it's loud enough to hurt my ears. I gotta say, we really need to unlock some uh, some of that like uh, cosmetic shit because. Ooh, this factory looks like, it looks a little basic so far. Looks a little like hot garbage. <laughs> it's too orange. <laughs> Not enough glass. Sure would love some glass. Uh, but. I can also fix the little foundation sticking up over the top with some one meter walls. Love those little things. Those are useful. Uh, more iron. Can you close the conversation card? I'm going to be making leaves oh, in the yeah, biomass yeah. for a little bit. What do we got? What important truth do very few people agree with you on? <laughs> um. So, so here's the thing. Here's the rub. I am a stickler specifically for power pole placement. <laughs> Nobody fucking agrees with me. Because my co-host certainly doesn't. But if he's no, I... emblematic of the rest of the population, then I would say I am, the, I am a, the lone swimmer in this ocean of misinformation, <laughs> surviving on pure chutzpah. I, uh... Oh. I'm, I'm a big fan of power poles being placed, uh, you know, in nice places. Uh, I'll gut you like a trout. Yikes. Uh, I don't know if I have an important truth that most people, that few people agree with me on. Um, oh, wait, no, here's one. Uh, here's an important truth that, I, that, that most people don't agree with me on. It's, uh, it's that every opinion is valid. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, but what about I, wait, no, sorry. Stuff? It's it's more complex than that. Sorry. It, um every opinion is worth understanding. Sorry, not necessarily valid, fair, yeah. but like you you, you got to know where they're coming from before you discount somebody else's opinion. That said, once you know where they're coming from, if their if their opinion is still stupid, then it's it's still a bad opinion. Yeah, if it's an opinion that's funded by ignorance, then it is a bad opinion. If it's funded by taste, it is a valid opinion, even if it's not necessarily. Yeah. I like that. I like how I phrase that, funded by ignorance. I'm going to use that the next time I'm at a diversity and inclusion. Cool. Ooh, 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 ooh. I can what do something. Doing? Hold on, I'm going to do something. I'm going to... Hold on, no, no, no. Let's, let's put some railings. Let's put some railings. These, these look like shit. We, we gotta wait for some better railings. That opinion is not valid. Ooh. <laughs> How dare. There we go, fixes that. Oh, wait, no, we still got some, uh... I'm sure we have enough pipes, so I'm gonna go and get those, and then I'm gonna see what it takes to get Mark II conveyor belts. Nice. Yeah, our iron is uh, moving at if it's uh, reinforced plates, though, I'm gonna throw my headphones in there. It's gonna be quite. Big. Oh, I certainly hope you don't. Milestone reached. I'm Fix joking. it. Would like oh, to remind you of your it contractual is obligation plate. towards efficiency. Well, it's time for me to throw these. Recreational <laughs> use of mean? belts and lifts does not count. Oh, well, yeah. Well, well, I mean, of course, they, they use a more advanced. Stay iron efficient. Plate. Don't disappoint. Fix I know. It. It's just Stay efficient. Don't disappoint. Fix it. All right. Fuck you. 
Oh my god. You know, th this game is, is, isn't anywhere close to where, um, uh, oh, what was that one where you dis disassemble ships in space? Oh, uh, spa space heartbreaker. Shipbreaker. Ship shipbreaker, yeah. Hard space shipbreaker or whatever. Yeah, that, I think that's what it was. Yeah, um, it's, this is nowhere near that yet, but, uh, ooh. <laughs> That, that game I could not continue playing because it just, it was so unbelievably, like, uncomfortably dyso dystopian. Yeah. Like, it actually, like, caused me anxiety to, like, because I, I didn't want to hear any more of the story. The story was so unpleasant. Like, I if, if I ever worked a job like that, I would... And, you know, to be fair, I guess those people didn't have the option to, like... I fell down. I fell down. I fell down. You fell, you fell over? I fell over. Um, I guess those people didn't really have the option to, like, leave. But, oh... I'm glad I live in a country where, like, you can quit any job anytime you want. And, uh, workers' rights are, like, a huge... a big deal here. I'm so oh. happy for you. You say a little salty. I'm a little salty. I'm so I'm so happy for you. Huh? Can I make this? I can make an object scanner, which I might do. Don't we need an object scanner for like one thing? Uh, we don't need object scanners. Okay. Never Not mind. for the for the most part, no. Um, I I suppose you could you would use an object scanner if you wanted to be absolutely purist and like not use any outside utilities like the the like a map. But uh, oh yeah, we're gonna be using a map. Oh fuck yeah, no, we're, we're gonna abuse that shit religiously. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna take full advantage of every every resource online that we can find because we're not fucking around with uh, like. I mean, to be fair, there's the collectibles are abundant. Uh, I hope we get another lizard doggo. Huh? Oh yeah, they'll be around. I yeah. I'm kind of sad that I saw one and I didn't have any berries in my hand. He's probably still around. Oh wait, there's some resources right here. What resources are this? Oh, wait. what the fuck? What do you mean? Oh, it's these bird plants. Plant birds. Plant birds. What? You thought you mistook a plant bird for a resource? No, 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 I just saw one. I was, I was like, what the fuck is that? And oh, yeah, like, no, they're they're weird. Oh, there's some iron over here. And it's yeah, pure. that's what I was saying. There's like, there's a ton of iron in this space. There's also a thing trying to kill me. Oh, no. So today I was, I, I, I've been off work for the last couple of days due to some due to like mental health stuff. Uh, just like. Uh, not gonna go into it. Uh, but the, um, the, I, I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I, like, made sure that I, like, took melatonin last night so that I got, like, plenty of sleep and so that I would be ready for, like, work today. And, uh, I, I like, and then I received a phone call at, like, 7.30 a.m. from my employer. Uh, and, and I was like, I'm just gonna, like, go to voicemail. But then I was like, oh, fucking, I'll read the transcript of the voicemail while it's coming in. And it was like... Uh, just so you know, like, uh, I know you were sick the last few days. Uh, if you don't, if we don't hear back from you, we're just gonna uh, count you as sick again. But the uh, office had to be evacuated, so um, uh, yeah, don't don't come into the office. Uh, call me back if you, you know, if you're not taking a sick day. And it was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I called her back, and I was like, um, yeah, I wasn't gonna take a sick day today. She was like, oh, well, are you okay with us using your, one of your vacation days then? Because you can't work without your laptop and you can't go into the office to get it. I was like, oh, all right, I'll, I got plenty of vacation days. I'll just take a paid vacation day. And, and she was like, all right, cool. So I, I got a free vacation day. Well, not free, but I got it. Nice. I didn't have to like apply for it or anything. It was just like, oh, sweet. Oh, so here is the extra personal storage box. It is right okay. next to this. What's it for? Uh. Just extra stuff, just in case this one gets filled up with something. Oh, okay. We're not gonna make a ton of them. We just want to have an extra one. This is not ugly. This is this is great. Look at this. This is beautiful. Keep it up. Great work, team. Keep up this level of productivity, and we'll be having a pizza party. And thank you, Frosty. Oh. Thank you very much. 
Yeah, that that's one of the things that I'm not a huge fan of at uh, living like working in a corporate environment. It's the incentives are so half-assed at times. I have I get a bonus every year for how well I do during the year, and I'm planning on make, making sure that they know that the diversity and inclusion council and how hard I work for it is is like I'm getting all fours on my shit. Otherwise, oh, yeah. otherwise I'm gonna I'll start a riot. I. I want to. I want to. I want to clarify. Uh, we do get good incentives too. Like for example, uh, this it, this is performance based. I mean, all of it's performance based. But uh, the, we get like uh, s sometimes weekly, sometimes monthly, sometimes quarterly, like bonuses uh, based on our performance. And those bonuses can, uh, in some cases, uh, equal out to thousands of dollars per quarter. Um. Which, for those of you who don't know, is three months. Every three months. Um, so, like, th those are still there. Um, but those tend to have, like, requirements that are uh, not always attainable. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. They're all set by, like, our client or whatever. Um, I think I know where this is going. I but I, there are also incentives that sometimes happen where it's like, uh, yeah, hey, you, uh, you, you like... One, you got like the highest score on this thing today, so why don't you pick out pick like a, a piece of swag? And I was like, um, that's clearly a box of leftovers from like oh like all there are like off sizes and shit that you're trying to get rid of. And they're like, uh, yeah, but you got you do you want one? I was like, no, and I'm begging you, please do not ever try to offer me leftovers again. And they were like, really? You don't want one? And I'm like, no. I would prefer if you didn't hand me stuff that I would then have to transfer into the garbage. Thank you. <laughs> that's pretty great. Actually, that's another I thing that, that, that I think most people don't agree with me on. It's like, I will not accept free shit that I won't use. Or that's the, fair. And it's it's like my grandmother constantly like asks me, do, do you want to take some of this food home? Like after I have dinner with her, and I'm like, I think about it, and I'm like, I will not. Uh, there's very low chance that I'm actually going to eat these leftovers. So no, I'd rather there's these a, not sit in my fridge for a week and then have to be thrown out because they're starting to stink up the place. There's a difference between between what your company did and what your grandmother did because your company did it because yes. like ah oh, we should we should try to do some bullshit to make them work just that little bit harder versus your grandma's like I I hope he has food. Well, let me be clear the they don't push very hard on those sorts of low value incentives. But you're Chris, you're not clear. I swear to God. <laughs> I'm sorry. Inter interrupt me on like an important point there. Go ahead. I'm just saying, like that they, they, they don't push very hard on those incentives. Like, like the, there's like one email that gets sent out, and the, uh, like the week before the incentive is live, and then it's like they're not really like hounding you, like like letting reminding you about it. It's just like a okay. thing. So, I'm although then again, I also ignore every email that in, it includes incentives in it. I'm I'm one of the rare employees that where I'm like, hey, manager, don't bother trying to tell me to, to like work extra hard for incentives i don't give a shit unless unless it requires it's a requirement to like keep my job i don't want to hear about it trust me i'll get i'll, I'll manage to, to hit those goals anyways just by working hard but i don't i don't care to like know wh how, where i stand in terms of incentives and it's and it's true. I, I do actually get like a fair number of incentives Milestone anyways, reached. just because Solid I work hard anyways. But it's just like I despise the like constant like burners. need for, for most people the to allows for the removal of tougher wood be offered rewards in order to work hard. You know. Your pocket dimension has yeah. been inflated I mean, to increase inventory I think size. That the, the, the Inspirational thing I have about note, it is that will you be the fixed employee of the month? A company should be seeking you could to be reward if you employees for automate, their work. Automate, experiment, behavior, even exploit if it, by eliminating even if the all obstacles like, to efficiency. Hold on, hold on. I can't, I can't, I can't focus on you it's and Ada at the same time. Mandated. Fun, fun, fun. Ada just did exactly what we were talking about, by the way. Did you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I fucking hate Ada. You can be employee of the month if you do the things that are our motto or whatever. And I'm like, oh, yeah, exactly. kill me in game. 
Also, I'm just hand making the screws. I'm I'm really oh, yeah. I really don't know how we're gonna get the screw line in there. Screws screws are a problem for a lot of, of the game because there's just such a high volume of them that you need that like you're gonna need several conveyor belts unless you manage to get the higher like tier conveyor belts. It's a huge yeah. pain in the what? ass. Um, which reminds me, I'm gonna have to start make start thinking about reinforced iron plates as well, which requires screws. I'm gonna, I'm gonna toss down a ma'am while we're. Uh, wait, wait, go wait. yeah, go ahead and do that. Yeah. Let's, uh... there you go. There go. Oh hell yeah, the ma'am looks yeah, real I'm just fancy. Yeah, chipping now. away at the screws that we need for these, and then once I have the screws oh, made, I'm the gonna start. Slot making more screws for the reinforced iron plates we're going to need to upgrade everything to mark two so i'm going to be at this for a little while cool this semi slug now dubbed power slug is early in its life cycle and has retained only part of its potential energy storage capacity giving it its did blue you, color did you take all power the slugs are capable of extracting latent yeah, energy from their inventory. surroundings including through a form I'm, of I'm photosynthesis and preserve it in their porous yeah, 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 semi-crystalline shell over their lifetime this explains why they rarely move after having found a suitable location huh Apparently, power slugs uh, perform so photosynthesis. Oh, okay. Which I just realized is a hard word for me to say. <laughs> That's a shame. Um, research. All right, pale berries uh, are now scannable. Nice. This so what fruit, is the, the research the pale berry, due to its tendency to stay light in color even when ripe, is compatible with the human digestive system and has been added to the object scanner. Oh. Further research is available. That's right. It gives us things we can research. Yeah, it, it's a tree. I, I, I really no, do appreciate how this game does, like, there's multiple different ways to unlock things. Like, and they're, they're, they're like different types of things. You didn't. You didn't even hear what I said. No, I didn't, because Ada was talking over you. Hold on, Ada's talking to you. You said the bacon agaric due to its uncanny resemblance to raw bacon. Sorry, I'll let you talk after this. The digestive system and has been added to the object scanner. Further research. Okay, she doesn't say anything important. Sorry, you were saying? You said tree. Like you said something was a tree. I was like, no, no, no. Tree is my girlfriend. Oh. And that was a funny in the moment thing, but apparently the new co-host of Fantasy Sauce is Ada. Yeah, of course. Wait, you didn't get the memo? No, I didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I have to hear this way. <laughs> I'll fight you. It'll be uh, brutal. And oh, we got, a, we got a hard drive that we can scan, too. Hang on, I'm doing all of this yeah, stuff. Yeah, go ahead and run that in there. Uh, first, we got to get some hog research for alien protein. Mm, yeah, alien protein. The remains researched belong to an organism now dubbed the fluffy-tailed hog. Oh. It has many characteristics that would likely classify it among the Suidae family were it native to Earth. Hog remains can now be made into alien protein, and additional research may reveal options for improving pioneer safety during exploration. Okay, fluffy-tailed hog. Was that not what they were called before? No, I guess they were called that before. I just, it was never really called out in game. They were just called the hogs, from what I, 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 from everything that I uh, remember. Oh, does that mean we have access to under overclocking now? Uh, and underclocking, more specifically? No, we don't. Damn. What do we need to get access to that? Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, oh, hang on. I can do that right now. I just need another slug. Uh, power shard. Can you pull another uh, uh, conversation card? Yeah, I can. Uh, oh, shoot. I can't do it until the hard drive's done. Damn it. I can't cancel it either. No, no, no. Just talk about the... Co Let's do the conversation card. I'm sure that'll give us discussion oh, enough slippery. until we... That's ready. Sticking to each other. There we go. Ew, gross. Uh, Why are the cards sticky, Chris? Can I skip this one? Can I skip that one? Wait, 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 wait. 
Okay, we'll both agree not to, not to not to talk about it. No, what I'm was giving it? it. What is it? Red flag. Okay. Do you, uh, okay, I'm just gonna leave it on for this red yep. flag. Uh, would you rather save money or save time? I think I think we have uh, different answers to this life. one. God. Ah. Uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> this one's so hard for the answer because like my my, my answer is easy. Uh, I, my, I'd rather this, save time. I, I value time much higher than money in most cases. There's 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 like an equivalency, but it's not it's not like how much I'm paid. Like like twenty dollars. Twenty dollars an hour. An hour is is not the ratio for me. I hate to say it, I really do because this is such a because it's such a shitty thing. But I value money more, and that's yeah. that's kind of sad. I mean, I um, figured you would answer that one. The th the thing about it is the reason I'm answering that way is isn't because I think that time's like oh yeah I have plenty of time. No, I know time is a very finite resource. It's like yeah. by focusing on money over time, you just fucking. <laughs> have the potential to lose out on so much whereas money's a very finite or a very infinite resource yeah it's exactly. very, but it's just like i've spent so much of my time trying to make sure that i have enough resources to be able to take care of the people around me um and myself and everything that i think i just have come to value money more than time and i do things to try to save money that'll take mm -hmm. longer And to be fair, like it really is just a matter of like how much free time do you have, and and that ultimately dictates you know the ratio there. But yeah, um, I, I I oftentimes if if I see a, uh, an option between, you know, and it, it's not even like a matter of like time and money for me. It's also time, money, and effort. Are the are, it's three three ways. If something yeah. if someone takes it something takes a significant amount of time and effort then I will spend money to avoid it. <laughs> but like, if, if it's if it's very low effort, but just takes time, I'm fine with that. Um, like that 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 sort of thing, I, I, I can just kind of like multitask on. But- Okay, I've got 22 reinforced plates. <laughs> so I'm gonna upgrade these plates, this one's over here to-, to mark Perfect. Them. I'll start working on the next milestone then. Uh, you can start tossing stuff in here. And then we want all of these Mark II, or do we just want the ones that run to the, the machine, like between the splitters? So, uh, if, if you think about it, um, every time it splits, uh, it, the amount that that's coming through is 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 less, right? So we want it faster for the between them. Uh, no, 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 no. So y you only need you only need it where there's a there's actually an, an expectation of having 120 or excuse me more than 60 per minute. So you just need it on uh, this one, obviously, and this one because after after it passes two smelters. You've lost 60 parts per minute, so now there's only 60 coming out of here. So 60 is all that's needed here, so you only need the Mark One. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the outputs likely also will need Mark Twos, though. No, 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 no. Sorry, that's not what I meant. Sorry, you can switch that back to Mark One. And what I meant was over here. Right over oh, here. Oh, the output. Yeah. And same rule applies, right? So you only need the uh, the the basically two here and here, and then the the other ones are uh, are fine. Okay. Actually, well, uh, just twenty per that. minute. Uh, you may, don't even need this one to be marked two, but yeah, whatever. Because it's going to be outputting eighty per minute total. So minus 20 here, it's only gonna be 60 on this belt right here. It's math. Well, the good news is we've increased production. Huzzah! Now I get to do it again once I have more plates for the top ones. Hey, Penelope? I, yeah? I, I think you're on track to become employee of the month. 
<laughs> Milestone reached. The assembler can produce more complex parts, uh, including the first project I need a part, chainsaw. smart plating, which is crucial for initiating project assembly. Project parts must, must be delivered to the space down. elevator. Uh, By completing your contracted duties as part of project assembly, you will definitely be helping achieve fix-it company goals without any other ulterior motive. Note, humans cannot craft project parts. Do not worry about your inadequate craft skill <laughs> when compared to an assembler. Fix-It cherishes your innate human abilities, such as walking, striking objects, and commodifying natural resources. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we appreciate humans for developing uh, an economy. <laughs> Fucking gross. I hate it. You're doing the uh, upstairs? No, I I'm doing... Um Oh, chainsaw. you're clear. You're clearing some uh, some wildlife. I see. Right. Yeah. Do I need to make the biofuel to fuel it? Hang on a second. Yes, you need at least solid biofuel in order to fuel that thing. Damn it. Okay. Hang on. Hang Although, do we have access to better biofuel now? Because we should be using we have solid biofuel. Oh, okay. I'm gonna start converting our existing biofuel into solid then, because okay. it's, it's way more efficient. I'm gonna start getting us access to some better. Oh, oh boy, this is gonna take a while. Uh, maybe I should automate this. You know what? I'm gonna automate. Yeah, that'd probably be a smart idea to automate it. I'm gonna automate it. Just make sure to do it in small chunks because I don't want us to run out of power. Uh, what do you mean? Like, don't take all of the biofuel out of the, the chest to then convert it to solid biofuel. With, like, all at the same time. Do it in... Really? Yes, really. And what if I ever, I've already done that? I swear to high heaven. <laughs> if, if I hear the power go out, like, just Did while you do that... <laughs> I'm gonna fucking take the chase off. I'm going to come back over there. I'm going to be intimidated. Oh, it's too close. It's a shame I can't use this chainsaw to fight off the wildlife. Yeah, it truly is a shame. Out of, uh, out of my left ear. Yep, Terrifying. Shit! I swear to God, Chris! How did that happen? No, for real. How did... Oh, we peaked. What do you mean we peaked? We uh we, we peaked above our, our our maximum power output. That's all. Hang on, I can I can throw down another one. Ugh. It's fine. It's not it's not it's not ir uh, ir irredeemable. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got. It. Okay. Now we just toss some biofuel in here, and then we hit the switch. What just happened? Oh. You didn't connect it to the power grid. Oh. There you go. Try it now. Cool. Man, I'm glad to have an expert with me. Did it just... <laughs> okay, we're fine. All right. I've got some wood, oh, nope. so I'm gonna convert that into oh, portable drive scan. Hard drive analysis completed. Alternative yeah. recipe selection available in the MAM. Okay, we, we get a reward. Either we can get six inventory slots, or oh. we get an alternative recipe for iron wire. Oh, hold on. I wanna take a look at this myself. Can you can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Uh, also, we can wire, rescan the hard drive. We will not want to be using our iron for something that we could be using copper for. So we should uh, take the or we could rescan. I don't think inventory slots are a big deal right now. I think we rescan. 
Okay. Uh, ooh. Yikes. Um... Neither of these are great. Shit! I say we take the bolted frame. Yeah, it's slightly more usable. All right, I took it. That that sucks. The inventory slots would have been more useful than either of those. All right, solid biofuel is coming out. Nice. It's making waves. Are you using leaves in the protection? Uh, for what? Right, for the solid biofuel. No, right now I'm just taking our our, bio, our regular biofuel and converting it. I see. Okay, let me go and let me go and convert this wood into into normal biofuel, and then all everything. Let me just get it all moved over. Okay. That's what I'm trying to say. How you feeling? We're three hours in. We are. Um, we should probably call it soon because it's getting late for both of us. Yep, I think you're right. Uh, let me finish converting this biofuel over and then we can see the power. Hooray, we can underclock now. Overclocking development And overclocking, completed. I guess. Power shards can now be inserted into all buildings to increase input and output speed. Underclocking is also possible. Note, power consumption of overclocked buildings increases exponentially. It's not exactly exponential, Ada. It's more, um, logarithmic. I thought logarithmic and exponential are roughly the same. Uh, sort of? Not exactly. Because the logarithm is... I mean, I don't know. Oh, whatever. I don't, I don't think it's either, actually. I think I think it really is more of like a... It's slightly linear. Actually, it could be exponential. I don't fucking know. Oh, up. Well, the game crashed. I think the game made the decision for us. Oh, did it? <laughs> is it? Is it crashed for you? Yeah, yeah it's, it's, a it's, it's a full crash. It's a full crash. Yeah, it's probably gonna kick me in a second. Good, good news. We have auto save. Well, all right. Looks like uh, that's that's where we're gonna end the stream today. It hasn't kicked me yet, surprisingly. It will. Uh, yeah, there it goes. Yeah, it's straight okay, up everybody. Not All right. Uh, well, we're gonna call the set. We're gonna call everything there. That was still really good. We we did considerable progress. We have an automated uh, pipeline. We've got automated. We got iron plate line. We got through tier one and almost all of tier two and tier zero. Yeah. We went tier zero, tier one, and almost all of tier two. Which, yeah, we to be fair, got, are the uh, fastest tiers. But, um, yeah, we're on, we're on our way to be, being able to actually lay down some permanent factories. Exactly. I mean, we already so, laid down our first one, but still. Yeah, we're doing great. Yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, so, what I wanted to say was I want to thank everyone for watching with us. It was actually really fun to get back into this game now that it's been a while. And there's some. it's still cool to get, get back into the rough of things. Uh, if you'd like to support us, like I said before, you can always do bits, you can do subscriptions, uh, or Twitch Prime subscriptions, anything, or just mm -hmm. showing up repeatedly like you all have been doing is wonderful. Uh, we really appreciate all the support we get. It's really freaking great. Yeah. Thank you guys. Uh, and if, uh, you wanted to catch up on our streams, if you missed part of the stream, it will be uploaded to YouTube. Not to mention, you can check out our uh, last uh, hit stream series, uh, the Twilight Princess HD uh, series, which has been fully uploaded to YouTube. So you can check those out. They're in glorious 4K so that they can be enjoyed at the highest bit rate possible. And that's the only reason. Um, yep. And if you, if you like hanging out with us, you can come join our Discord community. We have the link in the description below, no matter where you watch. And we'd love to have you and hang out with you. Absolutely. Uh, yep. With that said, yep. thank you all so much for watching. And if indeed you still are. They're watching or they're not hearing this. It's a thing I say. Just let me have it. Okay. Uh, we appreciate you all very much. 
Uh, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Uh, maybe next time will be more satisfactory. Maybe it'll be the new Zelda game, depending on when our next stream is. Yeah, well, hopefully we'll see you all there. Have a yep. wonderful night, everyone. Good night.